Hey everyone, Eric Watson here, freelance writer, player of games, writer of words, recorder of videos, and mercenary adventurer from Gloomhaven. This is a Gloomhaven session on Tabletop Simulator, and I am joined by my good friends and some of our D&D group, uh, Chris, playing hello. the hello, playing the Vermling Mind Thief Ratfink, uh, and Heather. Hello. Playing the Quattrol Tinkerer Curio, and I am the Orchid Spellweaver uh, Crystal. We are not starting at uh, the beginning for the purposes of this recording. We've played a couple of sessions already to try to learn Tabletop Simulator. Uh, Heather and I are actually very, very well versed in Gloomhaven. We've played over 40 games of the physical game, and then I have recently taught Chris via Tabletop Simulator, and we've been playing uh, via that so that we can all play together, and I thought it'd be fun to just record these sessions and see if anybody else enjoys us playing Gloomhaven as much, uh, enjoys us, enjoys watching us play Gloomhaven as much as we enjoy playing Gloomhaven. You can play Gloomhaven too, nothing's stopping you. That's right, that's right. Uh, so currently, Chris and I are level two, uh, Heather is level one, and we have done, I think, four scenarios? Um, we did one, scenario one, scenario two, scenario three, and then we chose to do scenario nine. We attempted, when it was just me and Chris, to do scenario 65 and failed. So we've so done five. four yeah. successes and five attempts total, and we've unlocked 11 and 12. Right, oh, that's right. We're, we're in that spot where we have to choose to side of the necromancer or not. That's right. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm totally down as long as it gives me more things to make my sex robot better. Sex robot. <laughs> <laughs> um, I got a question for you for Tabletop Simulator. Yep. So instead of buying a thing, I want to. Uh, oh shit! We can't adjust cards yet, can we? No, we do not have enhancements yet. We haven't unlocked that ability. Yeah. <laughs> That's not for another couple scenarios. Dang it! I know. Uh, fine. <laughs> Buy something else then. Let's see. Does anybody have anything left on the map from last time? I don't think so. No, I moved on. The shaman. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay. I think everything is reset. Uh, we've got. Oh, I need to get my battle goal back. All right. I'm gonna buy the boots of speed. By the way. Boots of speed. Okay. Yeah, we just got a good payout from the last. Yes, we did. When we did, I may have to. Do I want to buy the boots of speed? I mean, it doesn't really pay for me to go first sometimes. Huh. What does the, the, the boots of speed do? They add your initiative. Yeah. Or you to subtract your initiative technically. Yeah, you can subtract or add ten to your initiative, so that way. Oh, well, that's just sort of a good situational thing. Like, maybe you need to add 10 to, like, not do a thing, or or minus 10, yeah. Huh. Okay. Turn your volume up on, you're kind of quiet on my end. And considering we mm. often seem to get so close with our enemies, like, it's like yeah, one or two points away. Is that better volume-wise? Uh, a little bit, yeah. I'm going to boost your volume a bit. Woo, boost my volume! <laughs> <laughs> So uh, boosted. Yeah, I don't know. You know what I need is the spell weaver. Oh, I wanted to upgrade a card. <laughs> Do I? I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, enhancements are. Oh, mana potion obviously would be pretty good. Ah. But we still only have one bag item, right? And I think I've already got the. Yeah. You said it's half yeah. level. Yeah. So I can't get another one until level three. It's half level rounded up. Half level rounded up, right. So level one, okay. you can have one. Level two, one. And then at three, you technically can have two. Gotcha. I don't have a weapon or a boot or armor. I guess I could just buy a potion to have one. Add a mobilize to a ranged attack. Maybe that could be useful. Could be. As a weapon, all the best stuff is potions otherwise. Um, or ignore shield values. I hate that the bow is a one-time use. Oh, yeah. Jump to the movement. Yeah, I'm gonna buy the winged net. Uh, if I go shift three, there we go. 
or the weighted net. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> fly That's my net, weighted. fly. <laughs> Winged net sounds more entertaining. It does. Imagine like each of those little points is just a little pair of like cupid wings and just flies at an enemy. Now we can uh, donate to the children, the sanctuary of the great oak. If anybody wants to donate. Yeah, I'm gonna donate. We are all pretty much flush with money. I will find. Well, donate. I feel like we're about to donate and then lead a necromantic uprising. So. No. Well, we can either be for or against the necromantic I uprising. I mean, let's let's hear both sides. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna donate to, Quattro. Yeah. I'll, I'll donate. I will also. Four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. If all three of us do, then we're at nine donations. Ah, so close. I know. We all get two bless cards. By the way, for anybody, watch, uh, for anybody that will be watching, I am using the mod uh, Gloomhaven Fantasy Setup Scripted UI. That is the name of the mod. It is a... It seems like a great mod. It does. It's very well put together. He clearly scanned every fucking card in this game. <laughs> yeah. Clearly. Which is you know, a lot of work. to the person who created this mod for taking the time to make it so stinking realistic. Yeah. yeah. That's also, yeah. He didn't that cloak visibility. What else did I have? Minor stamina potion, cloak visibility. Lock all my things down so I don't move. Oh, the back. eagle eye goggles, that's right. Here we go. And now it's gonna be a, the challenge is gonna be remembering all of the items uh -huh. that I have and what to do. Oops. Yeah. Uh, I've been writing them down. Yeah. On the item sheet and just hopefully I won't ever delete them all. Like I'm like it's easy to do <laughs> that it highlights everything when you click. I know, it's horrible. I don't I don't trust myself to actually click on that box. Yeah. I have my like personal goal written in that box, so I have to like double check myself every time. Yeah, exactly. All right. Um. So yeah, we have to. Cho well, we can do a uh, a city event while we're here in town. Uh, I think I usually do the city well, okay. events. Go for it. All right. Relaxing for the evening at the Sleeping Lion, a shifty-looking man approaches you, hand outstretched. In it... Whoops. Get the dice off there. Uh, in it are a pair of pale dice... God damn it. <laughs> with, crude, with crude marks scratched on them. Greetings, friends. You look like you could stand to liven things up a bit. Care for a quick game of bone dice with me? I'm sure we could make it interesting. His other hand pats a coin purse at his side. Option A, play a game with the man. It may prove to be a good time. Option B, refuse the game of dice. I've only got seven gold. What can I lose? <laughs> I've got far more gold than that. <laughs> wow, would, are you a gambler? I would vote him to piss off. Uh, you're, once again, the tiebreaker. Hey, I didn't choose. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm the tiebreaker. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh... That's what I'm saying, yeah. Well, I mean, the Tinker would like to know what's in it for her to play the game. So, with more money is more ability to buy things and build more sex robots. So, <laughs> let's play the game. All right, so that is option A. So, we'll go to state number. All right, is our reputation greater than negative five? I believe it is. Yeah. You get into the game, but after a few rounds, your enthusiasm wanes as the man displays a streak of luck that can only be described as uncanny. You leave the table empty-handed, lose five gold each. <laughs> Apparently, we needed a really low reputation to win money off of him. That one actually goes back in the deck. What if we're like scoundrels, right? then we can actually spot his cheating. Yeah, I guess so. All right. Well, well that's all right. At least it wasn't a percentage or anything. It was just five gold each. Yeah, I don't think it's ever a percentage. Five right. gold each. All right, gents, do we want to help a necromancer or try to stop a necromancer? Right. So that was the last thing we're on. So we just finished ep uh, session uh, scenario nine last time, where the option was uh, we can either overthrow the military of Gloomhaven and put control of the city into the hands of the Merchants Guild, which is 
scenario 11, or we do not have the stomach to affect real change. To keep in mind, this is the necromancer demon lady talking to us. <laughs> it's, uh, her, it's her opinion of it. It's her, yeah, it's, it's, she's coloring this a little bit for scenario 12. So either we start an uprising against the militaristic city, or we combat, we fight against the person who we've been helping so far. Well, this could get interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I really don't know. Um, and if we want to glance over our personal quests, because we've been kind of using that as a method of role playing and choosing what scenarios to do. Yeah, uh, I'm the I Goliath. Got one that I need done in Gloomhaven, so either one works. For That's me. true. <laughs> yeah, so, so you've got the uh, elemental samples. Uh, your goal is to just simply complete scenarios in each of the various areas around the map, which obviously doing one in Gloomha Gloomhaven would get that one done. Groomhaven. Groomhaven. <laughs> That's the dog uh, version. Huh. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's, the name of the, that's the name of the local pets hotel in Gloomhaven. <laughs> is, is Groomhaven. God, that's a good idea. Um, <laughs> Ratfink is a traitor of his own kind, hates vermlings, wants to kill him. Yeah. Maybe he suffered a great injustice or just a self hating vermling, whatever the reason. So, ba so if the Snickermancer promised me that I could wipe out the vermling, I'd probably go along with it. <laughs> And then I am the monster hunter, Goliath Toppler. I just want to complete four boss scenarios. Ooh, if one of this is a boss scenario and the other one's not, then that will color my uh, opinion. Let's see in there. What's the number of the scenario? Oh. Well, it looks like they're both boss scenarios, because 11 is kill the captain oh, really? of the guard, and 12 is kill Jaxera. Ah. So I think both of them are actual boss scenarios. I kind of want to just go evil <laughs> with this whole character. <laughs> Just, just. I mean, I get to, I get to role play evil characters so rarely. I'm down for this. It, yeah, we could just lead. But I, mean, I my, guess my D and D characters tend to skew a little bit more on the <laughs> bust and honorable <laughs> side. So I'm. Our really D and D characters for... always tend to skew chaotic. I don't. Know. Yeah. <laughs> chaotic <laughs> crazy. Be so prim and proper in my everyday life. I gotta mm -hmm. get it out somehow. You gotta exercise that. Yeah. <laughs> the crazy side. <clears throat> Also, I don't like fighting the zombies and the skeletons and whatnot. <laughs> well, unfortunately, it looks like uh, Scenario 11 still actually has skeletons and zombies in it, although I haven't read the rules on it, but mm. I'm just looking at the enemy types, unless they're allied to you somehow. It's, a, it look, oh. it's the exact same map, either way, this is interesting. It looks like it's the same map and almost the same enemies, I guess just the actual rules change, and obviously the rewards are very different. Yeah. Because more than likely we will uh, lose reputation if we uh, right. overthrow the city. Yep. Oh, I got a question. Yep. This is off topic. Should this warehouse have disappeared? It's still displaying as an option, but I, I think I remember you guys saying that like it's not an option if we chose to do the other one. I so... I get rid of it otherwise. I but. think technically you could play it in casual mode. Even though it's uh, locked out of the campaign, like, I think you could always, yeah. as long as you've unlocked it at one time... Yeah. You just don't get the rewards. You don't get end. the rewards, uh, and obviously none of the story stuff is going to make sense. You essentially just play the map as the map, but it, I think it gives you a right. chance to at least get those kills and just experience the scenario. I see. Um, yeah, and, and that can be a so thing, for example... for story map. Right, for, and I was saying, like for a quest like yours, um, where yeah. you just need to kill vermlings, technically you could just do any scenario that has vermlings in it like multiple times. Right. Okay. That was my off-topic question. Um, it's still pretty on-topic, I think. It's it's Gloomhaven related. <laughs> yeah. So do we want to go just fucking... Uh, I want to help the Necromancer. Let's we have the stomach for change, <laughs> which is, I think, 11, which is kill the... Yeah, because 12 is to kill Jaxera, which is the lady giving us the quest. All right, mm -hmm. we enjoy working for her. That's fine, as long as she gives me monsters to kill. Which I guess the captain of the guard counts as a boss toppler. Ah, uh, yeah. He does say he's a boss. All right, so I'm gonna set up scenario eleven. We are still on challenge level one. Please remove thine dice. Actually, the your dice. Ah, my dice. So that <laughs> is scenario number eleven. Ah, you gotta seriously get out of the way. Okay. Uh, revealed rooms. 
actually. You're the only one, you're the only one with the power to delete things. Just if what? Uh, yeah, I can just move. Them. There we go. All the things. Build it. Oh, boy. Power of the scenario. Six monsters. There it is. So we're doing. Yeah, doors. Boy, we start. Look at that. <laughs> I wonder if the undead is allied with us. That's fascinating. We had a giant war. Oh, boy. We'll find out here in a second. Where do we, oh, we start? So. Oh, yeah, right next to this, the living bones. So this, we, yeah, this is crazy. We do not have a road event because obviously we're in Gloomhaven, so we did not leave the city. Yeah. So instead we can just uh, read the intro and, and go there. Whoever wants to... Uh, um, Jaxera's plan is troubling, but it is certainly sound in some dark, twisted sense. You've seen the guards on the wall? They can barely fight back the Vermling, and their tax that's why, that's why I, I chose her. They, they, they can't even fight Vermling. They don't deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and their taxation is strangling the town and your own pocket. With an army of undead, the merchants can govern the city into an age of prosperity and keep it safe from the forces outside the, the walls. So, are you ready to take the fate of this city into your own hands, mercenaries? You nod in assent. Our army is ready. We march for the Ghost Fortress. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know what that is. A commotion in the foyers startles you away from Jexera's rally. Rushing into the room, you see a troop of soldiers standing over the bodies of Jexera's Inox guards. This ends now! Argeis points a crossbow at you. Oh, that's the person who tried to... Yeah. I tried to warn you. Do you have any idea what you are unleashing on the city? <laughs> I'm kind of. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> It's this too late. Jixera spits from behind you. They can't stop us. My army has already dispersed into the city. Oh god, we're it so will only, It will only grow with every guard who falls. We're monsters. This sounds terrible. We're monsters. <laughs> we're the real Jixera, monsters. Jixera turns to you. Head to the ghost fortress. If the captain of the guard falls, any resistance to our new order will fall soon after. <laughs> we're the head Here. assassins. Yay. God, we're literally... Uh, spend... Yeah, go read it. We're... <laughs> all living bones and living corpses are allies to you and enemies to all other monster types. All right. <laughs> we are literally allied with the undead in this fortress. We are, we are the vanguard of an undead army. Holy hell. Love it. We're the, we're the, uh, what's the, what are the, uh, Thanos' children called? The children the of children Thanos? Thanos? The Black Order? Black Order, yes. We are, we are the Black Order of the <laughs> Thanos army. <laughs> Oh, the gloom order. goodness, yeah. All right. Uh, there is a treasure tile in the last room. The stun traps, look like right before the last room, are both... Or the traps are both stuns. And, yeah, the undead... Boy, this is a lot of, like, AI work that's going to have to get done every Yeah, because we have this. to focus... Yeah. There's a lot of enemies because the undead are on our side. That's going to be... Yeah. A bit of a chore... All right. Lord. <laughs> so who all is here? Zombies. Guards, archers. The captain. More archers? Why are there archers on here twice? City archer, city guard, city archer. I don't know. Captain of the guard, living, living bones. Living yeah, bones. just says two city archers. Is it gonna? Is it gonna draw for both of those? I mean, probably, if they're, if they're both sitting there. Yeah, I need to get rid of one then. I can't imagine why there's multiple. There shouldn't be. Unless, I don't know. Right? I don't... I can delete one of them. That'll solve the problem. Yeah, I, I think you're okay to delete one of them. I, the, the setup does not include six creatures. It only inclu includes five. Yeah, which is... The guard, is. archer, corpse... Skeleton, Skeleton and the boss has his own deck. Yep. All right, I'm gonna delete one of them then. Delete one of the archers. But the guards, okay. Well, we still have the open door rule, so it's not gonna be that bad. I'm, I'm imagining like shit going on in other rooms while. We're oh fighting. no! Yeah, nothing activates till you open the door. Yeah. Right. You still go room to room. All right. That boss has a very fabulous outfit on his card. The captain. Jaunty feather in his cape. Oh, yeah, look at that. Purple cape. Wow, yeah. 
It's well decorated. Sword. Blue feather in his cap. It's... Yeah. Dang. Yeah, so obviously Heather and I never did this scenario because we ended up going after Texera before even the mine, so... Yeah. This will be fun. Yeah, so the guard's special abilities... When we can finally get to him. He can either heal two and affect his self and allies, or al all allies add plus one to attacks... To all attacks this round. Okay. And then he doesn't attack. Gotta fix the quadrants again. Okay. I have to do that every single time, I feel like. You might as well just make that a habit as soon as you hit the button. Just whichever one I had opposite, do the other one. Ah, oh, look at that. We have like an army of skeletons in front of us. That's right. And they'll just keep going, too. I mean, when we open the door, they'll just continually focus the next enemies as long as they stay alive. This is yes. insanity. That actually might get annoying. Yeah, because that they might. might clog up the works. At That's some very point. true. They probably will. But we'll see. <laughs> yeah. Well, because they're allies, we can go through them. That's true. Yeah. This is bizarre. I've never done a scenario where I had you allied with enemies like that. <laughs> oh, boy. So, All right, we're starting off right away, huh? Yeah, we're not really in danger <laughs> of being going. attacked anytime soon. What could go wrong? So, what do we need to do? I don't need to... One, two, three... Well, I might need to start closer because I don't have any range four stuff. It's all range three. Let's start down here. Gonna be kind of a weak opening turn, I think. Unless one of you can make an element quickly. Be most pleased. Rat Fink. Um, yeah, let me look here. Yeah, I can oh. make an element quickly. Battle goals before I forget. Yep. Yeah. Forgot halfway last time. I will indeed make an element quickly. Quicker than you can move. Well, no, I've, I've actually. Hmm. <sighs> three or fewer monsters during the area. Oh, I don't know good. if that's possible. Good fucking luck with that. Well, you just well, try I, to if I hit, always hit like high health guys. That's true. It's, it's killing blow. So, yeah. If I, if I let the skeletons kill skeletons and you guys kill them for me. Use your equipped items a number of times equal to or greater than your level plus two. So just use a bunch of my items. So two plus... Wait, was that formula? Equal to or greater than your level plus two. So it's just like, use so you, items. Your, yeah, so your level plus two would be four. So plus you have to two, use... That's, yeah. That's easy. And in fact, that's, that's like just objectively better than the don't use your items one. Well, the don't use your items one is worth two checks. Oh, right. Forget about that. Okay, well, I'm going with professional. I'm going to use all my... I just got to use my items. Professional. So you said you are going to use an element, perhaps? Great one. I am certain. I am very much going to use an element. Decently fast, perhaps? Very fast. Not as fast as my very fast, though. Not as fast as your fastest. <laughs> <laughs> We've covered that. My fastest of the fastest. Um... Ready to rock? Yeah. The cards are going before everybody. So we've got everybody in there. I'm getting some script errors, but... Oh, really? Hopefully everything's okay. Well, uh, we got everything in here, right? Yeah, because there should be... Yeah, the bones, archer, guard... Yep, all right. Ratfink is first. Uh, so All the right. 
Archers are going to do their basic move and attack. They do have a range. Is it just the one archer there? Yeah, just okay, one. Archer. All right, it's got a range of four and attack of two. The guards are not going to move. They're going to put up a shield and then attack anybody near them and poison. And then oh. our skeleton friends are going to move slowly but get a good attack off. Well, the guards aren't going to do anything then because they go before everybody and... There's no one as there long as nobody stands up to them, they will not do anything, correct? All right. Um, well, then, um, I'm going to first do an attack two, range four. The mobilizing doesn't matter because they're not going to move anyway. Mm -hmm. But it will generate an ice and an experience point. Ice two, ice. and I miss. <laughs> <laughs> Draws the miss. Well, I get an experience point, and he's immobilized. And you get your ice. I get my ice. Uh, which one do you want Uh Let's say the top guard, number two. Okay. I just feebly hand you a ball of ice. Thank you. Um, and that's but that same guard is going to, for some reason, think that the archer tried to hit him. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, turn. did you <laughs> try to good. hit me? And he is going to turn and bash his archer buddy for two damage. For one damage. Well, that was a kind of a shitty turn, but... Huh. Um, All right, I'm done. Okay. The guards just put their shields up. Now they're paranoid. And there's nobody for them to attack, so they don't do anything else. But they do have a shield. In fact, they have a they have a built-in shield one, so they now have a. Oh, sorry. All right, when you attack, oh yeah, you did zero damage anyway. Yeah. So they have a built-in shield one, but now for the rest of the round they have a shield two. Oh. Okay. Uh, on my turn, I'm gonna do the top half of frost armor to do an attack two at range three, and I will consume your ice. Thank you, sir. You add an XP and plus one attack, so it's an attack three, and I will hit the archer for three damage. Nice. Plus zero. And the bottom half, uh, I don't know. <laughs> i got to attack two, range two, or I could move, but there's not really any good place to move to. Right. So I think I'm just gonna not do anything from my bottom half. Stay here. Yeah. Uh, the archer has a movement of one and a range of four and an attack of two. They would focus uh, the skeleton. One of these skeletons, yeah. Yep. Um, completely number, equidistant. Maybe? So, I guess it's our choice at that point, or do we just do number four? I was thinking it's... like the lower number. Yeah, yeah let's do that. Know. Let's do that. Technically, that's a higher initiative, right? Well, they all have the same initiative at sixty-four. Well, I mean, like. like oh, you're right. Yeah, th go. yeah, yeah. That that is the order. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, so their archer's gonna attack that skeleton for an attack of two. So three damage. Although skeletons have a built-in shield of one. Oh wow! So two Here damage. Go Shelly man. Yep. Yeah. And now Curio. Later, Come on. Yay. We know skeletons are impervious to piercing damage. That's right. <laughs> I'll play video games. <laughs> All right. So I have an attack two, range three, target two. So I'll go with the archer in the middle, and then one of the other guards. So we'll start with the archer first. Ah. And target two people. Let me. Shuffle my deck thing up there. <laughs> All right. So, two damage on the archer. Dunzo! That kills the archer. Yay, go me! And then we'll do guard number two because he can't move. So, you know, might as well just shoot him in the kneecap. Hmm. Well, one buddy already has shield, so that doesn't do it. Yeah. So many shields. Guards. Yeah. 
And then, uh... That's it, because my bottom is useless, because I basically went last. Mm. Skeletons are going to move two and attack two, and they have a built-in multi-target of two. Ah, okay. Which I don't think they can do. Well, actually, they could. If one of them sits... One might move, yeah. Now, here's a question. Do the skeletons open the fucking doors? Uh, do summons open doors? I guess that, that would be the answer to that question. No. I don't... Well, mm, I don't think so. I, here's I the problem that I foresee. Yeah. If oh, they don't, if they, the if they don't open doors, there's no way for us to open the door. Well, we'd have to have enough movement to go through them. Yeah. If you if you go if you can go no, through that's them, true. would you go through yeah. to the door? I guess you would have to. Yeah. I honestly don't know the answer to this question. <laughs> never I've never had a bunch of allies. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Because they would prioritize hitting both targets. At least one of them would. So one of the like number yeah. four would move two to be in this middle spot to attack both two and three. Yeah. Yeah, Do... you can move yeah. into the open door spot, right? Yeah, you would just have to have enough movement to move through them since there are allies. Yeah, so would you argue that the together. bones are not going to open the door? Yeah, I would argue that. Uh, I, yeah. I, okay. I would say the, the rules are probably the same as... as... Okay, yeah. I'm if, going to roll that as well. The door, then I don't think they should be able to. I don't know what the answer is, but hopefully that's the case. <laughs> All right, because number four will move two. It went to prioritize getting his double attack, so it would attack both two and three with an attack of two. Unfortunately, both guards have a two shield. So number two yeah. first, no damage, and number three will be three, so that does one damage on that one. One damage, yep. Yep. Uh, and then other skeletons also have a movement of two. Attack. So not only are we going to have a bunch of like allies and monsters fighting each other, they're all super tanky. <laughs> like bash Sorry. each other. Should be number three that moved there. Oh, wait, number three can't. Wait, yeah, what's the... One, two. Yeah, Sorry, how much here. movement do they have? Uh, they have two movement. Two. Yeah. He would so just move here. He would move there. Well, shoot. All right. Let's have him do a separate attack then. Number three. So four will still make it here. Yeah. Uh, I just did it out of order real quick. Uh, three will attack two with a two attack... One, so that does one damage, gets a shield. Five will go here, attack three for a base two. Look at this! <laughs> one damage. And then, yep, skeleton goes there, attacks that one. Four! Uh, four, which is two damage. They all drew the plus ones and plus twos. Wow. Our army of the dead is marching clack, clack, clack yep. into the guards. Scratching at the guards. Yep. Just Clawing just pieces of armor off. In the background. <laughs> and that is the end of round one. I think I'm going to run up and open the door. Because I feel like if we don't... I, I don't know. We're going to get bogged down real fast. We're going to get bogged down in like, these guys fighting each other. Yeah. I can, I can move forward with my boots and actually get to the open door. Okay. And then I can attack one of the guards from that spot. Yeah. I can move forward without boots. Can you? Yeah. How fast can you go? Uh, where's the other one? But is it a? Oh, we don't need to jump, do we? Because it's a skeleton right there. Yeah. yeah. Um, I can go decently fast for me. <laughs> Not as fast as you two jackholes, but. <laughs> All right, that's fine. If you, I mean, maybe if I have enough movement and you've already opened the door, I may move like past you to get in the room. But yeah, that'll work. I feel like I can't move forward because we're all going to be trying to aim for like that same spot, and it's going to get too crowded. Kind of slow. Yeah. Well, very slow, actually. Yeah, I don't think monsters can open doors in general, so hopefully that's the same rule. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It's just, just I mean, because it, it, if enemies could open doors, would they open doors? 
Yeah, right. then they'd want to open all the doors and get all their friends to come help. Right. <laughs> Turn those skeletons out, jeez. Yeah. I mean, we the skeletons immediately outnumbered them two to one, or no, there was three of them. Four to three. Four to three, yeah, and obviously with and we us, so yeah, the <laughs> opening room, like, it's pretty easy, I guess. I wonder if our reinforcements stay pretty good if we're supposed to drag these skeletons along with us. I, I mean, they'll slowly move forward, I guess. They will, yeah. And we'll they're pretty good movement, them. depending on what. Uh, the thing is, we're at the mercy of what they draw, just like everybody else. Right. So it could be times when they just sit back there. All right, ready? Sure. Ooh, skeletons and guards <laughs> all go before us. Look at that. Wow. They might clear the way. Ah, although the skeletons aren't doing shit this turn. They just put up a shield and oh, heal no. themselves. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> They're not going to attack at all. Damn, skeleton. Well, one, one skeleton can heal himself. One of them heals up two points, yep. That's okay. all they do. They just put up their That's shield and heal. They We're just... like, we just put our heads like, oh guys, come on. Come on, guys, we gotta move this along. Yeah. Sarah, your skeleton's jerk. God damn it! The guards also put up a shield. <laughs> what? Everybody just locks their armor up. <laughs> so for this round, the guards oh. have a shield of two and a retaliate of two. Oh yikes! Okay. Oh my gosh, it's so annoying. Does that retaliate self, or is it like a range? It only melee, yeah. It'd have to have a range underneath it to retaliate at range. So only okay. if pe melee people attack them. But ironically, our skeletons are not attacking them this round either. All right, yeah, Curio. I, I honestly just want to leave this room and let the skeletons take care of these guards. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like they You can. know what? Fun fact. Our goal is not to kill all enemies. Our goal is just to kill the captain of the guard. Okay. So technically, yeah. we could just leave this room behind if we want to. I feel I feel like we should. I feel like we should just leave. These guards are going to get taken out by these. I would have gotten a better move on the bottom. One, two, three. Four. All right. So I'm just going to do an attack three, range three on one of the guards. Since I think they're about the same health, right? Uh, One's two out of five. One's three out of five. So let's do the two out of five one. So okay. attack three. So I'm already gonna get one damage. They do have a shield. Of, yeah. Damn it. No damage because they have a shield of two. Those fucking minus ones. Yep. Uh, all right, and then I'm just gonna move four, which puts me on the door space. Indeed. So. Open. Oh dear, oh dear. lord. <laughs> Holy there shit. There are more guards right there. That is a lot of... Is that for three players? That's a lot of stuff. <laughs> God, yeah, it sure is. Look, look at the setup. And then you just one, two, three, see four, the one, quattro two, three, will become shorter. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> three zombies down there. Good lord. Four. Look at this. It's crazy. Four zombies and seven guards. Oh, those are smart. Oh, yeah. So we need to draw... Archer card and a corpse card because I guess the guards still do the guard thing. Yep. Right. So, Archer. And then corpse. Uh, and you finished your turn? Yep. And you okay. just see the quattro just shrink. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> I should have done that. So, I have to catch yep, up on the basically. earlier. I have to catch up on all the earlier ones that went, which is now the archers are going to move. Well, a minus one move is zero. They're right. not going to move. But they have a range of four. Uh, let's see, which ones are... There's only one archer, I think. Uh, no, sir. All these ones oh. are archers. Oh, all three of those are archers. Yeah. You're right. And then one elite guard right there. And that's one, an elite archer right there, too. Okay. But they have a range of four or five for the elite... And they're going to attack and then create a damage hex. Oh, God. What a fucking... But two of them, can, two, can two of them even do that? They got enemies, like, allies. They yeah, they can't do it. They don't That's have true. Yeah, them. I guess they wouldn't do it because they wouldn't move if they could focus the enemy. So first, the elite is going to focus the nearest enemy, which is this corpse number one, which I believe is already in range five. Yep. Yep. Four. So the elite okay. is going to shoot with a, a base attack of two. Ooh, four damage Damn. against this corpse. Because the 
corpse has no defenses. And then the normal ones, starting with three in the back, is going to focus but with he, a range they of... they create the trap before the next guy goes, though, right? Uh, yeah, so the elite can't create the trap. Oh, that was the elite. It right. has nowhere to go. Um, the three, one, two, three, four, is actually yeah, not in range. Right. One, two, three, yep. four. Uh, and with a move of zero, can't it can't move up, and it can't create a trap, so it's just locked down. It's too crowded. Number <laughs> so six. Would create a trap on the door space? I don't think it's... I think it's an unoccupied hex. I think the door is technically an occupied hex. Okay. Yeah, it says empty hex. Sorry, that's different from unoccupied. An empty hex, and a door is not an empty hex. Uh, number six would do the same thing. Focus uh, number one with a base attack of one. So zero damage, but it does make the trap. I need to get a trap token out. This poor zombie is just going to walk into traps. Uh, so remember all that this is a three zombies. damage trap. This is gonna be bad if they all start plumping traps down. Yeah. Well, yeah, they're gonna like keep themselves in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at this gauntlet. Okay. All right. So that was the archers. Uh, the guards already technically went. They've got their shields up and retaliate on. And you went. Now it's me. I am horrified now at what I'm seeing. <laughs> what is going on? What is going on? I don't. I necessarily want to use fire orbs because I can't actually get in position. Because I've got to move. I could move two. Mm. Yeah, that's the best I can do. I can't actually move as far as you guys this turn. So I'm just going to treat that bottom. I mean, I have a move three, but I can't do anything about it. Uh, I'll move up and then I'll move here, I guess. And attack the top one with flashing burst, which is attack three, range three, and generates light. Attack three on the guard. Plus two is five, minus his shield of two is three. That does kill this guard. Nice. And that's it for me. The corpses uh, do not move. Damn. They have nobody to attack, and they all suffer one damage. As they, they don't move? Oh, it is the ass on them. As parts of them slow off, I guess. <laughs> okay. Not a great uh, ally Card? turn for us. Yeah. yeah. All right, bring us on home, Ratfink. I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to run into the room and just stand there. Um, We're going to end up blocking our own skeletons. <laughs> in fact, I have to use the top of Scurry to move five, so otherwise I can't even get in here. So I'm going to use the top of the scurry. I'm going to use my boots of speed. Mm. Or boots of striding. Boots of striding. To add two to that. So that's five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh my gosh. Hope those guards that's have it. to go before you guys. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to try to go as fast as I can. That's probably yeah. a good, good call. Dear Lord, this is terrifying. I'm just going to put more shit on the board. You're going to summon? <laughs> <laughs> summon the rats. Yep. We're going to get so um, crowded. It's going to get... <laughs> so crowded. I am going to go pretty goddamn slow because I want to see whatever these things are doing. Oh, God, all these skeletons are just going to get choked up. Watch them just continue like shield in the back and not do jack shit. <laughs> I don't know how long we can even spend fighting these guys. Like, we're going to run our cars for the damn captain, but... I know, we, we got to I mean, move. We have to push through these guys. There's no other way. Yeah, yeah, these guys. Alright, I'm also going slow. And hopefully the skeletons all, all don't freaking block me. This is a banana scenario. I don't. I've, in all my 40 games of playing, I've never seen anything like this. I should put a coin out here. I can copy and paste that one easily. All right. 
So many initiative things. <laughs> it's a lot of initiative. That sure is. You are going fast. Archers are attacking. Guards are attacking and buffing themselves. Are they really? Corpses are moving and not attacking. Our skeleton friends right. are moving and attacking with their good attack, which is they use their multi-attack on one target. Unfortunately, that's just the one guard in the back, I think, probably. Yeah, I don't think they're making it much. Well, they have a move of three. Mm. But first is the rat. All right, first up, I'm going to ooh, range two. Who's in range two? Just the two front guys. All right. Um, number six, I'm going to shoot with a attack one stun. Ooh. Two. Oh, bless. <laughs> one, one times two is two. Yep. So two damage. I generate an XP and an ice. And he is stunned. Okay. Uh, is that the right? That's the wrong one. Oh, he did the six? Number six, yeah. And then I am going to summon the gnawing horn. The rats. Right on the space above me. Uh, all rats. <laughs> Very thematic Plop since we're them. invading with the undead. That's right. All right, that's it for me. Don't forget to get your XP for the rats. Uh oh yeah. And the stun. I got the stun one. I did not get the. All right, Curio. Yay, my turn. Okay, so I am going to attack for range three with an AOE and get one XP for every enemy targeted. Ink bomb. Nice. They are perfectly lined up for that, aren't they? Yes, they are. Yeah, they are. <laughs> wow. And I'll generate darkness. Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we'll just start with the two guys in the front and then uh, Captain Fancy Pants in the back. Do I want to use my power potion? Mm. Is that a one-time use thing? Yeah. Mm. Ah, might be good. Though. Yeah. 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 I'll do it. I'll use it. Oops. So it's a base attack five. Yeah. Wow. Nice. And Chris, remember to take your bless out. Ah, yes. Yeah, base attack five on all three of them. Alright, so we'll the start first with number one. It's the only card I've drawn. So, number one. Well, no, because if you drew like a miss or a times two, then your deck would reshuffle. Oh, right. right. Number one is dead. Wow. Wow. Nice. This mod is so number good that I six. don't even remember that's a rule. Is dead. Holy crap. Ha <laughs> ha! Just murder them all. A giant number ink bomb five. explosion. Is dead. They do have built-in shields. Are you are you including that? Oh. Did the base guys? The base ones have a shield of one. The elite has a shield of two. Uh, I think those front guys still died because she did yeah, six. Yeah, the front guys were still dead because they were and already he only injured. had three life. Okay. Yeah. And this was a how much six? So I did six damage minus whatever his shield is. He's got a base built-in shield of two, so it takes four damage. Four damage. Built-in shield of two? That's yep. okay. He's an elite guard. Yeah. It's also got Pierce. What does Pierce do? That's is the archer you're looking at. Oh, yeah. Uh, the So the archer pierces through our shield if we have a shield. That means he, ah. he, he ignores one shield when they attack. All right. That's all I can do. That was pretty uh, good. Was you got three yeah. XP. Yeah, I did. I think that was a good use of the loss, though. Anytime you can maximize mm -hmm. it like that. Yep. Did you want to move it all? Nope. Well, do I need to move to get out of your way? I don't even well, know what yeah, I'm doing. I'll, I'll move. I'll, I'll I mean, the skeletons are all going to trudge. Or no, I get to go before the skeletons, so. Yeah. I'm going to use my thing as a, a move. Two, yeah. Do I have I'll just move, like, here. Yeah, I'll probably move up to try to I might end up in front of you guys even just to try and gain some ground. <laughs> I'm just going to leapfrog the entire way. Well, never mind. The archer's going to take that, or the guard's going to take that spot. 
All right, so next are the corpses, which are going to move two and then muddle and immobilize. He's going to attack the swarm. Do what? The guard's going to attack the swarm. Oh, you're right. right they will here. attack the swarm. Yep. Okay. All right, so all the zombies just move one. One. <laughs> go, go, zombies. Three, four would move, but can't move any closer, so it stays there. And then five oh. moves Wouldn't there. this space right here be slightly closer? I don't think... Uh, well, who is he focusing, I guess, is particular. Oh, yeah. I, the, one, he focuses two, three, the elite four. guard five, though. Oh, okay. Five, yeah. Because the closest. Okay, one, two, never mind. Three, four, one, two, three, yeah. Yep. All right, the archers in the back have a move of one, an attack of three and four, and a range of three and four, because there's an elite on the board. So the elite uh, has a move of one and a range of four. Just literally cannot move still. Can't move still. Well, he doesn't have to move. Yeah, yeah so obviously targets uh, corpse number one with an attack of four. These damn Five, zombies so are... it is dead. Now, I would assume yeah. these corpses still drop coins. That's right? a good assumption. I, I would also assume... I'm that. actually not sure because they are allied to us, yeah. but if um, that's a good rule. What are allies still drop coins? Uh, and then the regular Archer 3 has a range of 3 because it's a minus 1 range. See, I would argue that they don't because we don't drop coins when we exhaust. Yeah, that's true. I, I really don't know the answer. If if I'll allied, going. If somebody wants to Google it. Yeah, do allied monsters to you? Boomhaven allies drop coins is like result. Okay. So one, two, three. Uh, number three can't hit anybody. Not in range. Number six can. With a range of three and an attack of three. One, two, three. We'll attack number five uh, for three damage. And that's it on the archers. The guards, starting with elite guard. This is a lot of work. There's a lot of enemies I have to run. Is going to do a move one for an attack of three for the elite. There's two elite guards. There are two elite guards, and that one actually goes first. So only a move one, so it moves here. And does not attack, but strengthens himself for future... Flexes his arms. The other one will move here and attack your rat swarm summon with an attack of three. Three damage to the rat swarm. Do you have some dice? Damn. Yeah, yeah, I got a dice. That, that rest from all it is going to do is just... Yep. Better than us. And then he also strengthens himself. And then the back guard... Um... Shit. He's going to target me. What? Because <laughs> I'm higher initiative than the fucking skeletons. That's the really? tiebreaker. Yep. He's going to target ah. me with an attack of... Uh, two, because it's a normal guard. See, now you better not freaking exhaust yourself before you even make it to the big boss. <laughs> oh, fine. The boss Take two damage. Uh, that's all the guards. Now it's me. Now I'm pissed. Um. So, in answer to the question, there there, there is some confusion because it's not it's explicitly stated in the rule book. Mm-hmm. The general consensus is that the distinction is players versus monsters. And even though these are our allies, they still count as monsters. So okay. all the rules for monsters still apply. Still apply. Okay. I'm actually going to move here because there's not really another good spot. And I might as well take a coin. With the bottom of Impaling Eruption, with the top half of Mana Bolt, I will consume, I guess, the light. Consume the light. Uh, to make the <laughs> Mana Bolt an attack three against that guard. Kind of a waste, because then the skeletons will probably clean him up, whatever. Mm. Ugh. One, and that does nothing, because the guard is a one shield, so never oh, mind man. for any of that shit. Wow. Just take my one coin and quietly go home. Uh, the bones. Move three. 
attack one, but they get to multi-attack. So starting with three would go one, two, and attack guard, that guard, for one, two times. <laughs> Great. With the so shield nothing, up. and three, three, so that's two that's damage. Two. And We're already getting a lot of use out of the monster uh, yeah. modifier deck. Skeleton four will do the same thing with a attack of base attack of one twice. Two. That's one. Does one damage, which kills the guard. Yep. Which means the other skeletons would then focus the elite guard back there with a move of three. Oh, starting wow. Starting with number five and go one, two, three. Mm-hmm. And then number eight can't get any closer with three. One, two, three, because you all blocked them. Yeah. It's me and my skelly boys. Skelly bros. <laughs> I'm going to start a band. Crystal and the oh, skill man. bros. What was the, name? what was the name we heard earlier? They were like, that should be the name of our adventuring party. Uh, the something cheese weasels. The sniveling. Yeah. Was it the sniveling? <laughs> yes, the sniveling cheese weasels. Sniveling cheese weasels. We thought that would be a wow. really great name for something. <laughs> I'm not gonna do jack shit this turn. By the by, So strengthen means they have uh, advantage on their next attack. Okay, I'm hoping I can if kill they attack this, this round. Guy. Yeah, that would be most agreeable. Doing the basic of the basic. <laughs> Your basic. Basic. I have a really unfun battle goal. What was yours again? That's the one you had to not use any freaking items. That that sucks. Yep. Especially you just got a cool net. I did. I just got a cool net. But this battle goes worth two goddamn check marks. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I want to try it. I forgot what the other one was, but it was worse. <laughs> I hope it, the same thing happens to us. Oh, uh, it's like, are you? Are we it. gonna win this scenario or die? Are we gonna win it? Yeah. Are we gonna use an item or win? Or are we gonna die? <laughs> yeah. I would play more cautious, though. Uh, Alrighty then. Dead last for me. A lot of 60s. Starting with the Rat Fink. Uh, just to go over it. The corpses are moving and attacking. The archers are not moving, but they're attacking. With less range, but a big attack. The guards are moving and attacking, although a slightly weaker attack. The bones are also moving and attacking. All kinds of things happening. Wow. All right, well, um, I'm just using the super, yeah, the most basic things of moving to and attacking to. Move here, take fine. Use the basic move to and the basic attack to? That's right. Oh, wow. And with oh, your weakness, summon goes first, by the way. Oh, well, sure it does. Uh, all right. Um, it's just going to focus. Swarm. We'll just straight up attack. He's got an attack of one. Uh, He's got attack of two. Yes, he does. And a poison. He's got a move of one. Yeah. Okay. Attack of two with the poison. He uh, misses. He uses your deck, boss. Summons using my. Summons use our deck. Yes. Oh. So. Oh, I'm thinking of the mind control. That's yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and put right, that uh, miss that? back on the deck. <laughs> 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 I mean, it, well, yeah. Uh, okay, so my deck. Alright, so three. What's the sh shield? Uh, it's built in here? shield of two. Alright, one damage and he's poison. Okay. So I should. As long as I hit him this turn, I will kill him. Because the poison will do a damage. Yep. So I will attack him for two. Eh. <laughs> There's the My other blast. Bless. 
my blesses, the last few scenarios have just been overkill. Like, I have not needed them. Yeah. All right, that's it for me. I'll take it out for you. <laughs> Thank you. All right, Curio. All right, well, I was going to shoot that guy and then use my heal to heal you, but... <laughs> I went first. I don't like you enough, so now it's going to be a move too. Oh, no. Okay. I say you like coins more than healing me. Yeah. This is why I surround coins. myself with dead men. <laughs> they don't want coins. Yeah. They, they don't like, feel greedy. They like me for who I am. Uh huh, I'm sure they do. My three armed skelly boys. Have you seen their standee? They got three arms. They do. And their multi attack is like three people, right? Or they, uh, they it's a two. Attack. Oh, it's two? Okay. That's so weird. Okay, sorry. Um, and then <laughs> I'll use the top part of my other card. So for the other guy, it's an attack two, range three, and I will poison him. On uh, elite guard? Yeah. And then I create earth as well. Attack two, range three. Nice. He's just in range. Yep. I'll allow it. So that should be one damage, and he's poisoned. He is poisoned. Okay. That's all I got. What's going out there, everyone? All I see is killing them. <laughs> all right, the guards. We only have the one guard now, right? Just the one elite. Yep. Okay. So the guard has a move of three and an attack of two this turn. He's gonna move Those up. Poor zombies. Are going yeah, to they're just there to get shot at. Uh, he is also strengthened, so he's advantage with this attack too. So it's either a ah. miss. Oh, there you go. Or it is an attack of one. So he'll do a one damage one yeah. to that corpse. That is his strength. That's the best case scenario of a strength, and is getting rid of your yeah miss. Uh, my skelly bros uh, are all going to move two and attack two this turn. Go forth! Number three <laughs> cannot move, unfortunately. Of course. Four is going to go one, two. Yeah. Five is going to go one, two. Eight is going to go one, two. Yep. Welcome to the party, pals. Clack, 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 clack. Uh, the archer... No, sorry. The corpses. Oh. Oh. And these corpses do get to do something. Uh, we're going to move one and attack three. They've got a really big base attack. He's poisoned, too. They're going to smash this dude. They are. So that one moves one and is going to attack... Wait, what are you doing? I just moved it up. Okay. Uh, three is going to attack four with a base three plus poison is four. So that would be five damage minus his shield of two is three damage. Yeah. And then number four can't make it there. Number five will attack him. Same thing. Three with a four plus the poison. Five minus two is three damage. Kills that guard. Wow. Corpses revenge. Nice. You just see the tinker taking bits and pieces off of all the fallen people. <laughs> <laughs> muttering about making a new sex robot. Archers are not <laughs> moving. The elite is going to attack with a four with a range of six. Obviously just shooting this Corpse number three. So that is an attack of four. Minus two is two damage. Also, I mean, to draw this monster modifier deck way more than usual because of all I the know. enemies. That's, yeah, so it's never, yeah. Um, we get a wilder variety because we're going to use it so often. One, two, three. All right, Archer number three finally gets to attack with an attack <laughs> of three against Corpse number three. Ooh, six kills this corpse. <laughs> He's yeah, been, like, aiming that shot for the last two yeah. rounds. <laughs> number six will target number five with an attack of three. For three damage, kills that corpse. Well, uh, they, they, they took some damage. They yeah. Killed Agar. They're all killing each other. They basically are taking all of these archer hits for us. Yeah. And then me. <laughs> What do you want to do? I'm not doing You're much. Like behind. I am. I've got to move four, jump, which I still can't. Let's see. I can go one, you, two, you can get three, here. four. That's it. Yep, I'm going to go there. And then I'm going to heal myself 
three, which is just two. Alright, I'm going to use my potion. Kind of a waste because I have to long rest next turn anyway. Wow. Well. I didn't actually use any lost cards, did I? I did not. Uh, that's the end of the round. I'm using my stamina potion to get two cards back. Okay. I need I need my scurry. Scurry, scurry. Yeah, we're in a weird situation where we're going to be kind of blocking the bones, but we need to rush yep. those archers now. Exactly. I just got to get we got to get ahead of them. It's... All right. I am long resting. I have no cards in my hand, and I don't trust my short rest abilities to not draw that. Well, hmm. I could always take two damage and go. Eh, I'll long rest. I'll let my skelly bros do the job for me. <laughs> go, go, go for it. I'm going to wait until we're about halfway into the fountain before I summon my... My Mr. Ah, uh, yeah. Get, it, get in the room first. Yeah, right? I mean, at least get in that room first. Is he in the... Middle room, or he's in the last room. He's in the very last room, yeah. Jesus Christ. I know. <laughs> I'm more worried about us running out of cards. Yeah. Than taking damage, because there's plenty of other things to take damage. In that second room. What are the gray tiles? Green tiles are just blocks, right? That's just to show that these are two map tiles put together and that this is just the same room and not two different rooms. No, really no, I just, mean these. Right, they're just overlay tiles to connect these this, these two tile sets together. Oh, if, it, if it were a physical map, it would be easier to show you, but um, these are normally two separate map tiles, and so they're put together, yeah. and so you put a bunch of these, you know, Heroescape tile hexes on top. Two, right, yeah, yeah, exactly, to hide the fact that, yeah. I see. Which, I guess, are there no enemies in the middle fountain area? Because that's green is obstacle. Right. Unless oh, shit, the there are. There's archers in there. Oh, oh no. That's crazy. So I guess you have to range either, attack them. Like, barricaded. Yeah, yeah, they're barricaded in there. All right. All right, y'all ready? So either either a jump or a range is the only way we're getting there. Yep. Yeah, I'm ready. All right, you rat bastard. You are first again. The bones are moving and attacking. They got a fast move this time, though. Uh, archers, just basic move and attack. And the one corpse is also going to move and attack. Okay, I'm going to scurry. Go one, two, three. Um, I am going to... They're going to shoot the shit out of you. I'm going to stun two of them. All right. <laughs> so, wait, so one of them is going to shoot me. Yeah. Fair enough. Chris, can your rats not move at all? Oh, yeah, his rats go first. Oh, he can't. Well, they move at one. Yep. Yep, they can't. Okay. Stupid rats! They're trapped. You summoned them too early, son. <laughs> too early, yeah. I did take that one shot, though. But, yeah, they did. Uh, yeah, I'm going to... It's an attack of three, and I'm also going to use my Warhammer. Well, maybe I'll kill him. Can I choose to use that after I, I do the attack? Um, we're pretty lenient on that. You Technically, you're supposed to activate it before, but a lot of times we're like, oh, let's say I drink a power potion or something, so... Yeah. All right, let's see what I roll. <laughs> yeah. We're pretty Second casual three. about when to use things. Minus one is two damage. It's Archer, and I will use the hammer. Oh, wait. Okay. Sorry. It's three minus one is two, and he has... Does he have a shield? Uh, the Archers do not... Uh, the Elite Archer has a shield. The regular ones do not. Okay. Um, so he is stunned. And then I'm going to range two, attack one... The elite, just because I want to stun him. I don't want to get hit by him. I'm probably okay. going to do no damage. But, um... So you did stun the front yes. one? Yes. Yep. Um, one plus one is two. Minus one in shield for elite. So, I think I hit the wrong one. I can't actually... There we go. He is also stunned. And I guess I, I guess I will take that other attack. I also get an XP and a mice. All right, okay. Skelly Bros go next. This time they have a move of four. An attack of zero. March. Wow. Uh, number one, three two, can go one, two, three. 
Yeah. And four will go one, two, three, four. Let's see, one, two, one, two. Uh, yeah, I guess as far as you can get, right? Yeah. Is this closer? It would focus this, this enemy, so it would have to hit the trap. So actually, it would go three, four. Oh yeah. Because then he would have to go through the trap to focus to hit this enemy at number six, but he doesn't hit the trap yeah. yet. Uh, and then number eight would go one, two, three, four. He's coming. Yep, enjoy having all those in your face. Uh, so two of the archers are stunned. The only one doing anything is number three. He's going to focus the mind thief with an attack of two. Just base attack two. Okay. So two damage. Two damage. And their stun goes away. And it is a Curio's turn. Uh, I don't know what I just did, but I clicked on the skeleton on accident. Oh man! I'm trying to like get. To, I was trying to get to my health. Let's, let's do it that way. Yeah, do it on the thing. I'm <laughs> clicking things. Things are happening. Yeah, I think I got you like his options menu. Yeah, that changes his health. Uh, you need to do one more health drop. I think you took two, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. So there you go. Forward. I'm gonna do a move three. Go one, two. Right, come back here. Come here. Why can I not click my own thing? <laughs> it's getting too crowded up here. It's crowded, yeah. It's really crowded. Which I'll take that coin. <laughs> I've never seen so many enemies. Ah. Alright. Let me put this coin over here. So I don't forget. And then from here. I just realized we're red, white, and blue in the upper right corner. Happy Three. July 4th, everybody. That's right. <laughs> Three, this is how we celebrate. So I'm going to uh, shoot number six with an attack two, range three, and then pull two. Ooh, I like that. Look at that. So, go ahead and shoot first. So that's 13 plus three. Two damage. Two damage. All right. Yeah, they to the shield. They don't. It's two. Do they have a shield? No, the normals do not have a shield. Okay, and then I pull them two right into the trap. Which kills them, because that trap was a three yeah, damage yeah. trap. That's nice. hilarious. That's a good use to pull there. Yes. And I have now been successful in being helpful. <laughs> <laughs> I've done things. I'm helping. All right, our one corpse friend is going to move two. Uh, one, two. Were you done with your turn? Yeah. Okay. And I am just going to long rest. That will be the end of the round. I really did pull these. I'm, now I'm looking at what the rat's going to do. They trudge the right action. Oh, they're going to get left back there, yeah. They're going to get, yeah. They're gonna, yeah, so how many rounds are it going to take them to be exactly. mad at all? Yeah, you can't can't do that shit too early. That, that was just a, sh a shield three. So it was, it was still worth it, but now it's just... Not for a loss, I don't think. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess I do lose that card, don't I? Technically, it is out of your hand. Technically, yeah. Oh, I need to move again, don't I? God damn it. Two, three. Ay, ay, ay. We do have an element to use. Which means doing one of those two things, probably. You should move closer to them, Rat Fink. I will. Very quickly, too. All right. Well, not very quickly, actually. <laughs> Sorry. No, no. I, I, yeah. Not very quickly. Not very quickly. Uh, the archer beats us all. Damn. That sucks. That does suck. 
Uh, and they... Oh, they're doing their traps, too. That's fucking terrible. That, yeah, that is bad. So they're not going to oh, move. No. Because they can focus you. They do have a minus one on their attack. So the elite's got an attack of two. Uh, so shooting you with an attack of two. Okay. Three damage. Let's see if I live through this. Three damage? Uh, yeah. Okay. And then they put a trap down, a three damage trap. And the other one is going to shoot you for Attack a of base of one. So one damage. Oh, boy. And also put down a three damage trap. That's in fine. Front of them. That's... I will get rid of one of those traps. Oh, can you move them into it? I can, I can move them into it. Okay. Yeah. And actually, a, that's not what I that's not what I intended no, to do, but just, yeah. that happened to be the card I picked, so I can it's do it. Terrible, because our, all our all our enemies are gonna break themselves in those traps. Otherwise, yeah. Now uh, I don't want to go next. Shit, I can't do anything because I can't get close enough. One, two, oh, three. right. All the bones. I wonder if I can choose to let the bones go next. I assume if they're can, allies. Can, al can can players do that? Oh hell, they have a move minus two, so they move one. Well, they weren't going to move very far anyway. I assume Dude, if we're... Uh, I mean, normally players go first, but if you're allies, maybe you can choose who goes first? That's how it works if you're two players that tie. You just choose who goes first. Oh, if you're, yeah. So I'm going to let the bones go first to try to shuffle yeah, around. Yeah, you're tied and you're allies. Unfortunately, sure. they have a move of one and yeah. attack of one. So number three goes one. Number four can't get any closer. Nope. Number four... Five could go here. Yeah. Number eight can go. He uh, that doesn't get any closer though, does it? Not really One, to two, him. Three. Yeah. So he wouldn't move at all. Well, shit. Uh, none of them are damaged. They don't need to heal. Uh, One, two, three. Well, I can go. One, two, three, four, and take this coin. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm in range three. Range three. All right. That did help. So I can do uh, frost armor, consume oh, nice. that ice that you made to make it an attack three, for one XP, and I will shoot the elite one, two, three, because that's the worrisome one. An attack yeah. of three against his shield of one is two damage. The traps. Go through shields, or is shields still damage? Still no, damage shields only count for attacks. So everything else does straight damage. Okay. Um, it's your turn. I actually don't want to do him then. It's a waste of my attack. Yeah, I'm going to make the regular arm. Compel him to take a step forward. Come to me, Archer. And... So he's going to take three damage. He's going to take three damage from the trap, yeah. Okay, that's a good use of that. And then I'm going to attack for... Four damage. So he is deadses. Yes, he is. And I get an experience for that one. Okay. I, I kind of want to go invisible, but I feel like I can go b ahead of this archer, so... Oh, now you know what their biggest one is, a 14. <laughs> yeah, the biggest of 14, exactly. Kirio. Okay. Loyal. One of these skeletons is going to step on the trap. I don't think we can stop them. Oh, they already moved this turn. Oh, that's right, they did. Hmm. The, the zombie's gonna step on the trap. <laughs> Your uh, rats moved one space, also. Sure did. So not forget about those friendly rats. I, I kind of like, yeah. <laughs> oh man. So I guess I will just do. Uh, who has more cards in their discard pile? I already moved him. 
Oh, you did? Okay. Yeah, they were back there in that corner. Um, uh, okay. I just rested, so I only have the two. All right, so Chris it is then. You may recover one discarded card. <laughs> oh, nice. All right. And that's all I'm going to do because I can't move, so yeah. He needs to be healed, so I'm ferocious. He's almost dead. Yeah, I will actually pull my heal two card out. That's the one I... You said two? One, one card? Yep, you get one. Okay, I will actually peel my, pull my move two, heal two. Well, living corpse is a move of two, which unfortunately... Well, I guess that works. He's going to go into the trap. Because yeah. that's the only space he can reach. Well, no, it's not, because he could reach this hex right here. With a move of two? No, but when he focuses and chooses a hex, he acts as if he has unlimited movement. And technically, he could reach this spot here without hitting the trap. He just can't do it this turn, so he would not move. Oh, I see what you're you, saying. The only way he goes into a trap is if literally it's his only possible option in any foreseeable future. Gotcha. Given his current outlook. And right now, he sees that coin spot as being the spot he wants to reach, but he just can't reach it right now, so he actually would not move. What if we'd rather... I'm sure somebody in the comments can explain if I did that right or wrong, but that's I believe yeah. that's right. <laughs> right. Okay, so he's not going to do anything? Nope, that is the end of the round. As far as I'm aware. I, I, I have to short rest. Getting to the point where we can open that next room. Yeah, we should. Um, I can heal you if I'm next to you. Or no, I can heal you with my top action also. Uh, I need to long rest. Okay. Uh, mm. You know what? I'm going to go super fast. I'm going to plan on healing the rat, and then I can also attack the archer at the same turn. Oh, okay. Seems solid. As long as you don't move away from me, which I think I can go faster than you. He super says mocking. Fast? She says like, super mockingly. Your fastest? Like faster than you can possibly imagine. <laughs> okay, okay. As long as it's that fast, then we're fine. Because I'm going to go really See, fast. This is us learning each other's <laughs> like skill sets. Yep. And knowing what we're each capable of. Alright, so did you hit the long rest button? Uh, I did. Okay. Oh yeah, I see it. Tinker taking the long rest. So I think that's my fast. Yeah, that's my fast. Okay. Yeah. The right fast. <laughs> Don't even worry about it. All right. So with the bottom action of Mana Bolt, I am going to heal you for three. Yay! I just sigh and wave my hands. I'm your thank you, asshole. Stupid rat. Charging into the fray. And then the top half of Flashing Burst, I'll attack the archer for uh, base three. Whoops, that is the monster card, my card. Minus one is two damage. Minus his shield is one damage. Yeah. This guy is lasting. Did I? Yeah. See the two. Uh, and then it makes light. And that's it for me. Okay, um, I am going to move to heal two. I'm going to run up, heal two. Look at that. And you and open the door, by the way, when you do that. I do open the door, yes. Okay. Let's see what happens. Uh, what massive battle is going on in this room? That's uh, <laughs> a lot of cards. Oh, God. <laughs> Look at all those guards. Look at this. Okay. This is bananas. Two skeletons? That's it? Uh, we get corpses oh, in the back, I guess. Oh, uh, yeah. We got the corpses in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Are you quoting that horse song? <laughs> yes. <laughs> the horse. <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna tell me nothing, that's, sir. That's that's a pretty uh, current reference for you. I Thank gotta, you. I have, <laughs> a, well, I have a... The, the child's favorite song. Exactly. I, oh, I, have, really? I have a kid, uh, so I'm, I'm starting to get on the up and up on... Yep. What the kids these days are listening to. It's a good song. Also, they played it throughout the July 4 parade we attended earlier today. Oh, really? Like, I think like half the cars were like blasting that song. There's a funny video where a dude, I forget, the popular YouTuber, but where he layered that and Nickelback, and Nickelback on top of each other, <laughs> and they work perfectly oh, like wow. in the same song. 
<laughs> Let's see, we've already got Archer, Corpse, and Bones. I think I just have to draw the guard to add to the initiative. Yeah, the guard again? Right. Yeah. Holy mackerel! This is a room! This is a room, kids. This is a room. I mean, we are watching the dismantling of this entire city. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't read anything until we open the last door. Alright, continue your turn, please. Alright, move one more. Oh my gosh. Um, he's an, he's an archer. One, two... Oh, I wonder if I should just move into this room. No, I'm going to attack the guard. But the archer's going to attack me. Oh, uh, Yes. Let's see, what are they doing? Um, ooh, it's an attack plus one also. It's going to be painful. I'm going to kill this guy. So, I'm going to actually leave this archer to you guys. <laughs> Screw you guys. I'm going see? Enough. My sigh of the rat continues. That's right. And instead, I'm going to move one, two, scurry. three. Oh, my gosh. And I'm going to go invisible. <laughs> I heal the rat. He just runs ahead, <laughs> bursts through a room, and disappears into the fight. <laughs> he disappears into the crowd. What an asshole. <laughs> As your rat army trudges one more hex forward. Actually, I can. I can still attack and then go invisible. So I'm going to make a... One, which is three, attack against this. It does have a shield of elite. two, the elite guard. Yeah, this elite guard here. Two. This is four. All right. So three, he's got a shield of two. Yep. But one damage. Right. Where did that fucking rat go? <laughs> so that guard, actually, would he attack me? Did I go before the the, the skeletons? Uh, yes. It would focus you, yes. Okay. Everybody in this room is going to focus you. <laughs> well, well, I mean... Well, hold on, there's skeletons Yeah, here. there are skeletons, yeah, yeah, yeah. The That guard and the archer behind him... Uh, well, no, proximity, I think, is... Mm. Yeah, the archer sees the skeleton, I think. Yeah, that's true, the archer... Yeah, I think it's just, just the guard is actually going to focus you. Uh, I'll go invisible, it's fine. I'll just... Okay. I'll, pop, I'll pop that clip. Ah, you pop that cloak. All right, archers. We've got elite archer one uh, with a move of zero, an attack of four is going to target one of my skelebros, skelebro number five. So that is an attack of four. So four. I believe skeleton has a shield of one, so three damage. Mm-hmm. And then now I've got all the fucking things in here. Um, are there any more elite archers? Yes, the very back. Yeah. So that one would focus the corpse. It would try to move away to not have disadvantage, but it only has a move of zero. <laughs> what? Move minus one. So it's going to have disadvantage against this corpse with its attack four. Ooh. Disadvantage on the times wow. two is good. So nice. it's a five attack against this corpse. One, two, three, four, five. All right, regular archers, which is the three in the fountain and the one to the left of the rat. So the archer left of the rat, uh, the rat's invisible, focuses the bones anyway with an attack of three. Three minus the skeleton's shield of one is two damage. Uh, all three of these archers would probably focus Skeleton 7. They have a range of 4. 1, 2, 3. God, all three of them can focus. Jeez. Yep. Uh, with an attack of 3. So 3, 3 times against Skeleton 7. That's 2 minus the Skeleton's shield of 1. That's 1 damage. 3 plus 1 is 4, which is 3 damage. Three minus two is, or minus one is two minus. Uh, he's dead. Well, that skeleton took all the damage like a hoss. Yes, he did. Uh, I think that's it for the archers. This fucking room. Ah, uh, the guards. 
Uh, elite guards, of which there are a bunch of elite guards in here. One, three, six, and four. So one oh, man. <clears throat> would focus this skeleton. Uh, what are they doing? Guards have a move of... Elite guards have a move of two still. Okay. So one, two. Um, oh, wait. Never mind. I, I forgot the corpses up there. Shoot. Uh, one, oh, right. two, three. Yeah, the corpses Look are closer. Your, your corpse down there. One, two. Um, elite guard number three is going to focus corpse number two with an attack of three. So two damage. And then we've got elite guard number four is going to focus this skeleton for two. Three damage minus the shield is two. Yeah. And then this elite guard. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Or one, two, one, two, three. So he's going to go. How much move do they have again? Two? Yeah. So he's just going to go one right there. Now the normal guards. <laughs> Fuck this room. This is crazy. Uh, I think there's only two. Two and five. So two would focus corpse number one with an attack of two, one damage, and six would roll up on this corpse with a move two, one, two. All right, did I forget anybody? Jesus. I don't know. Did I... I did our archer down here, right? I think I did. I think I shot that skeleton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. He shot the skeleton, yes. All right. Next are the corpses, which we've got uh, four, one, two, and six. So one, what are the corpses doing? There's, there's no, is there any left? Yeah, there is one down there. Move, move one, one. Move one, okay. attack four, and poison all adjacent enemies. Ooh. Nice. Wow. So number one is going to just target number two with an attack of four. Actually, somebody else be the drawer for me. That will help me a lot. Click on that draw button whenever I command you to. <laughs> okay. It's a corpse with an attack of four. Six. Six. Against guard's shield of one. Kills him. That'll do it. Jesus. Nice. See, this is where the zombies come in handy. You don't, you don't start them down a hallway. Right. right. Next. You got to start them right next to people. All right, corpse number two, uh, with a num with his attack four, will attack guard number that elite guard. Oh, <laughs> still Excuse poisons me. him though, right? A miss, still poisons. Uh, yeah, still poisons. No damage. Excuse me. Um, and then we've got our corpse number four. Has a move of. One, so no, can't move or do anything. Uh, and then corpse number six. Uh, who moved earlier? The archer moved earlier mm -hmm. than the guard. So targets the archer with an attack of four. Somebody draw for me, please. So four minus the shield of one is three damage and poisons. All right. That one's an behind these zombies. Just one shield, right? Uh, yeah, the regular archer has no shield. The elite archer has one shield. That was all the corpses. And then the bones. This is a ton of... This is a nightmare to run, by the way. Ah, uh, yeah. None of the bones are moving. That's kind of bad. They all have an attack plus two, so they attack three. But none of them move, so all these guys that's are useless. That's real bad for ours. Yeah. Yeah, that's actually really bad. We need to get these guys out and helping. Uh, this one will attack with attack three against the guards. Somebody want to draw that? Ah, uh, yeah. So, two, but the guard has a shield of two. Great. Um, yeah, he doesn't have a move. Skeletons did nothing. And the guard... Oh, no, the guards don't have built-in retaliate, so yeah, they just do nothing. That's unfortunate, and then, Curio, you long rest, and that's the end of the round. Holy balls. Our round tracker is not working. Sorry, it doesn't work. I've been manually doing it. 
Oh, how, how, why isn't it working? Do we know? It just doesn't. It never works. Oh, it doesn't ever oh. track the round as far as I'm aware. You have to do it manually. There are only very specific scenarios that are like, this happens on round one, this happens on round two, that kind of thing. I see. I try to keep track, but yeah, as you can tell, I forgot about it almost instantly. I didn't realize you were doing that manually. Yep. All right, what do I want to do here? This is... I'm just going to try to get the hell up there. And not do much else, honestly. And I'm going to go pretty slow to do it. <laughs> This trying to my mage does not like this concept of like running up to the next battlefield. <laughs> right. I hope forty. Ah, that's not slow enough. But I can't do anything with this other attack. I guess I can. I'm just gonna do that. Let's do that. Because I am invisible until my turn starts. Right. Right. Okay. I think so. That yeah, I think that, that's what we discussed. I got some pistachios. Why didn't you ask if I wanted some? Would you like some pistachios? No. to do. I don't know either. Alright. We didn't actually kill that archer last turn? I thought you guys would have that in hand. I think I did one damage to it. <laughs> okay. And yeah, oh, unfortunately well, our, Yeah, and she long rested and our skeletons didn't move. Oh, yeah. I healed you also, so shut up. Uh, <laughs> Did you? It was so long ago, I forgot. No. Uh, all my stuff is range three. Yeah, I gotta get it in here. It's not gonna. Oh. Hunter. For that I'm pretty much yeah. spending a turn just moving up. We're all going very slow. Wow, we're all going really slow. All right, time to run this battle simulator. <laughs> archers, our first archer, elite number one. What are the archers doing? Moving and attacking. Uh, so elite as an attack of two against the bones here. Bone. He's going to do one damage, which is nothing against the bones. She actually, I'm going to relinquish control of the monster modifier deck again. So I'm gonna, just going to look at the guys. All right, so that one does nothing. Um, right. Elite archer number two in the back. 
is going to target corpse number six. Still can't move, so it's going to be a disadvantage attack with an attack of two. Okay. Nice. Ah, look at that disadvantage. Yeah, two damage. two damage does kill the corpse anyway. Oh, wow. Um, any more elite archers? I think that's it. Those two. Mm -hmm. All right, regular archers. Um, we've got three, four, five, and six. So three over here is going to target the bones with an attack of one. Two damage uh, minus the shield uh, minus the bones shield, but he's only got one life, so he's dead. We are, you losing, guys get in here. we are losing our undead allies in there at a yeah. rapid pace. Um, all these other archers are going to turn around and then shoot the corpses then. Your invisibility was very good. Yeah. That, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't uh, going to be dead without it. They have a range of four, but they also can move two. One, two, three. Oh, they don't have to move. One, two, three, four. Um, so they're all going to focus on corpse number two with an attack of one. So start drawing them. So that's two damage. One, two. One damage. And two damage. That kills this corpse. Oh no! Our zombies! We need those! It's not going well. It's not going well. Uh, that's the archers. The bones are... got their good fast move. They're gonna move four this turn. Oh, nice. All right. Well, they're at least joining the fray. That's... With an attack of zero. Wow. Well, Move four, Absorbs starting with three. One, two, three, four. One, two. We would just focus the archer. Oh, I... Yeah. Uh, with an attack of zero. Somebody draw. Oh, yeah. Keep going. It. Yeah, I've got a lot of work coming out for me. Uh, so that's nothing. <laughs> And then uh, number five would go one, two, three. And same thing, attack of zero. So two against the archer's shield of one. It puts the archer at one fucking hit point. <laughs> and now number eight could still land on the door and attack the archer. So it's just going to go one, I believe. I, th I hope I'm doing right. this right, but I don't think they would trigger the trap if they can help it. So I think he just goes yeah. one and then stays there. Uh, we have one corpse left in the back, which is going to... Oh, he got his big attack. There's nobody next to him. Damn it. Oh, no. That's not going to know anything, and he's going to suffer a damage because he got his big attack. Oh, shit. Okay. The guards <laughs> got a range attack up. Really? They have a range of two... And the elites have an attack of three. They have a move of one. So, okay, this is interesting. They start to focus, some of them start to focus down the hallway then. Yeah. So elite guard number one actually would focus this corpse, move one, and shoot the corpse the range two. Give me a modifier. It is going to be a base attack of two. No, three. So minus one is two damage against the corpse. And then we do elite number three. Uh, we're just going to do the same thing. Shoot at him with a base three. Shoot at the corpse. Two, so that's one damage. And then we've got elite, elite guard four, which would try to focus this bones on the other side of you. Okay. Which he's got a movement of one and a range of two. Um, so I don't I think can get there. moving would make him any closer, yeah. Would he still move towards him? Or uh, it depends if it's shorter. One, two, three, one, two, three. Now nah, it's same distance, so he wouldn't move. So he doesn't do anything, and then number six would move one space here. Oof, yeah, you'd be dead as doornails if he hadn't gone invisible. Yeah. I needed the right call going slow. All right, because at the end of your turn, invisibility will go away. And, oh, sorry, there's one regular guard who will shoot the corpse up here, and that's an attack of two. So give me one last modifier draw. Okay. And it's a miss. All right, our one corpse in the back stays alive. Jeez. Good lord. That's a lot of shit in that room. I don't that's know what... not good, yeah. 
I don't know how long we can wait for our skeletons to join this fight either. I know. All right, you rat bastard. Oh, still the same turn? Not <laughs> <laughs> what we were doing. Took that long just to run everything else. Yep. Um, range of four. One. I, re I feel like I just need to kill this archer, so I might actually just... How is Archer not dead yet? I know. I know. Like, this Archer has just been stymieing. It has. It's probably taking damage. Away. I mean, let's see. What was I going to do? Oh, yeah. I don't actually have an attack up. Crap. All right. So instead of... Uh, yeah, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to, with the, my parasitic influence, I'm going to look back in the hallway <laughs> and tell that Archer his trap looks mighty fine <laughs> and ask him to move forward one. There you go. We killed Here both we two of the Archers their own traps. I like that a lot. Yep. And then I'm going to turn around, and he doesn't have any negative conditions on him. Mm -hmm. I'll just tackle four. And I gain an experience. Attack of five. He's got a shield of two. two shield? Yep. <sighs> These damn guards. At some point, we might have to make the choice to run past everybody and just get to the captain. I don't know. Maybe. I don't maybe. know if we have to make that choice, but... Uh, it's getting dicey. Uh-huh. Okay, that's it for me. Here we go. Uh, okay. Damn it, I was hoping you would have gone after me. Oh, well. Run before me. In the way. <laughs> Alright. So, just for shits and giggles, I'm gonna loot too. <laughs> wow, yeah. <laughs> Collect those coins. So, I'm gonna take this one, and I'm gonna take that one. <laughs> nope, not you. You stay there. Loot the corpse. Loot, loot the I corpse. Want, I want the coin. Give me my coin. <laughs> it's like glued onto it. <laughs> Move, you. <laughs> Make a little nice little stack. There we go. Uh, that was shits and giggles because, you know, I need more money. <laughs> That's a loss, though. I know. Oof. I have a lot of cards. Yeah, That's true. And then I am going to bring Hilda the sex robot out to play. Oh. I have to remember how to do this. I gotta need the little thingy. Uh, you gotta pull it out of your mat. Oh, okay. yeah, you got it. Anyone this orangey color? No. Nope. Oh, yeah, rats c could not move. Rats can't move. Either. Nope. <laughs> Stupid so rats. We'll go here. Stupid rats. See the living bone, the living corpse in front of her. Hello, big boy. <laughs> You get 2 XP for that one and 1 XP for the loot, looks like. Yep. 3 XP. Alright, but I really need you guys to get in here. <laughs> yeah, I'm coming. I'm, I'm moving. Okay. I get all kinds I'm, of I'm just looking around at this. I was surrounded by corpses, so I'm like, well, yeah. this side, like, I can't move, and Eric was in the <laughs> way, so I just like, alright. Okay. It's too crowded in here. Alright, all right. I'm going to do the... Was that the end of your turn? Uh, yeah, that was it. Okay. I'm going to move four. It's reviving ether. Go one, two, three, four. It gets me all the way up to the frickin' door. And then I can heal three at range three. So I could heal you or my skelly friends. I'm only missing one. Yeah, I'm actually going to heal my skeleton friends. <laughs> yeah. I've become a necromancer, by the way, guys. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I'm a necromancer now. And I am basically going to have to rest. Unfortunately. I may short rest here and just hope I don't get the card, and if so, I can take the damage and go. Maybe, because I don't need mm -hmm. the long rest. Yeah, I think I will do that. I think I'm going to short rest. All right, that's fine. Still have my ether.
either. Sweet E. Holy shit, Rat. What are we looking at here? I'm looking at going invisible again. That's what I'm, that's what... God damn it. I think that's and then I'm going to long rest the next turn, so I'm going to be I'm gonna be disappeared for a while. That's, that's probably a good play. I, mm, I could move up and pull the nitrous. Can I move at all? Can I actually get somewhere? But I also need to activate my ally when I have the chance. Mm. Probably act well, yeah. I could go slow and activate the nitrous and see if anybody approaches. Those archers aren't going to move ever, though. Right, they're just going to stay back there. Yeah, I don't know they, they, they don't have a jump, do they? <laughs> so it's no, they're just going to stay back there. <sighs> I don't want to go. I do not want to go fast, though. So worst case scenario, those skeletons crowd me. I do want to pull my big attack. Um, save the movement, save all the bottoms. Let's use that as a move two, because two would get me in range of all kinds of shit right now. Let's do that. Purposefully go pretty slow. <laughs> Let them come to you. Yeah. Dick Sarah, you should have brought more goddamn undead. I know. <laughs> Somehow we kept our skeletons alive from the first room, but everything else is like yeah, falling apart. Everything else is just dying, yeah. Alright, ready? Yep. Yep. Fun stuff. Rat is going first. Rat will. What are the guards doing? Guards are not attacking at all. They're putting up their shield, and they're going to retaliate anybody in melee range. That's interesting. All the right. archers, however, doing? are going to be attacking with a big attack and at max range. Oh, well, that sucks. Yep. All right, well, mobilizing anyone is going to do nothing. Although they don't um, go until later. Ah, oh, fucking bones only move one this turn. Damn it. Those bones. God damn it. And they're all going to get trapped behind me. Well, yeah, they are, because I go after. Son of a bitch. Alright, I'm just going to try to kill the one well, he, he's, I mean, he's in melee range, so that would be disadvantage. I'm trying to hurt a bunch of freaking toddlers. Come on, yeah. skeletons, let's go. <laughs> so instead, I'm not going to even do the... Well, I want the experience in the ice. Maybe you can use the, can you use the ice? Um, in the next couple turns? Uh, maybe. Right, that, that might All right, I'll, factor in my choices. I'll spread a little bit. Um, I'm going to do a range attack of two on the back archer. Three damage to that archer. To... Nope, not light. Oh. Did you already put the damage in? Yes. Okay. And he is, he is immobilized. Um, you don't need to immobilize the archer. I, well, he's not going to immobilize the guards. is going to do it either. Nobody's moving. Nope. And then I'm going to pop out of existence. Good luck, suckers! Oh my gosh. Stupid rat. Alright, guards are not doing anything but putting up a shield. An additional shield, so now they have a shield three. And they're going to retaliate anybody in melee range. And then Curio. Uh, your summon move moves first, also. Rats still okay. don't move. <laughs> nope, rats still don't move. Poor rats. <laughs> Alright, so my summon can move two. So, one, two. Oops. Okay. 
And then I can move four. So one, two, three. Nope. Behind you. Four. I can't see anybody because they're all in the middle of the friggin' screen. Mm -hmm. So I will then heal somebody. Who oh. needs it? Nobody needs Everybody's it. Everybody's full health. Well, oh, damn it. I'll just heal the invisible guy then. No, you really guy. are full health. What's the range on that? Three. Oh, yeah, we do that. I'm telling you, all my shit is range three. <laughs> yeah, it seems to be the basic range. All right, that's all I got. Actually, heal the zombie. I'm about, I'm about to do long rest. All right, I'll heal the zombie. It's not in three. Yes, he is. Oh, yeah, sorry, I'm looking at me. Learn to count. All right. The bones are only going to move one this turn and then heal themselves for two. They can't move, though. You None of them are going to do anything, <laughs> yep. Uh, I think three would move here to focus yeah. the guard, and then this guy would move Eight. here. That's the best they can do. Yep. Look at this fucking hallway. This is atrocious. Yep. The archers go next. They have an attack of... Oh, sorry, there, there's elite archers, aren't there? There's one elite archer in the back is going to target that poor corpse with an attack of four. So that is going to kill this corpse. Damn. Then we've got three normal archers, which all have a range of plus one. So they have a range of five and an attack wow. of three. Holy shit. You one, two, three, <laughs> four. Right one, two, three, four, five. Fuck me. One, two, three, four, five. Three of them are going to attack me. Yeah. Four, five. All but the back one. Oh, fuck. With a three each. Okay. This is not good. Uh, okay. So three is two damage. Three is me burning a card. Yeah, yeah. I'll just have to play my ether next turn, I guess. And then three for four damage. Wow. I may actually just burn that one, too. Yeah. Because I'll just play just ether. just use your ether? Yeah, yeah. I'll just play ether next turn to get it back. That's not a bad way to, to, to use it as a defense. Yeah, just I think I will cards do that. And, yeah. I'll turn that one on in the frost armor on next turn. I can't get hit next turn though before I before I do it. Um, and then the back one doesn't do anything because it's a move. So that was awful. That was uh, awful. I, I got, got disconnected. The server, by the way. Yeah, oh, come back. But. You did. Okay, let me save it just in case. Seems to happen if we're on for a while. Mm hmm. I'm not, I'm not seeing your server right now. I might, be, I might get kicked out here in a second. Yeah. The video, we need like one of those things, like the little don't mind our technical, yeah, like a bird running <laughs> over the power lines or something. We'll be right back to these important messages. A commercial for the Gloomhaven military, <laughs> that's right. There we go. Now I got disconnected. Takes me longer for some reason. All right, can I recreate this game? Let's see. I should be sitting back up. 
In the global chat log, someone is just typing in numbers. <laughs> Counting down. Oh, they got kicked. <laughs> We're spamming. Oh, wow. It's a bot. Kicked him. Don't spam. Robots will find you. <laughs> I never put the prosperity items away. Whoops. This defaults me to the, the mine thief player for some reason. Every time I jump in. All right, should be back up. Yep. Unfortunately, our initiative disappeared. God damn it. Oh no. Well, the archers are just gone, so... Yeah, whatever. it's me, and then... Uh... I don't remember what was happening after that. Corpses, I guess, I hadn't... I think you were black wall. You were left. Because everyone else is already gone. Uh, it looks like the corpses have an 82, so I think they go after me. Okay. Um... All right, so my plan, I'm going to get up there and get the shit kicked out of me, though. I could move two up to that coin right there and then do my attack three. I've got my fire orbs on, mm. but there's no guarantee I'm going to kill anybody if they're full health, whereas if I attack these guys over here, I might actually kill some. And hopefully actually evade the archers. But I also need to get on the right side of the map because I don't have that many movement to begin with. Right. Uh, I just hope I have to go before. All right, fuck it. I'm just going to do a move two. Take the coin. Move here. <laughs> this is probably me dying. What I need to do is use my items. I just need to fuck this goal and just... Uh, we've come to that point. <laughs> yeah, I, I, we've gotten pretty close. I mean... <laughs> Because last time I said, I'll use my frost armor before, like, it didn't fucking pan out, because they could get their 14, and That's fuck true. me up pretty Thank bad. You. Yep. Uh, so I'm going to do my fire orbs, attack three, range three, target three, and I'm going to target, let's see, one, two, three, I'm going to target the two damaged guys on the left, and then... Those captains, don't the guards have, like, super shield right now, though? Yeah, they. oh, they do. That's true. Fuck that guy. They, they have a shield of three, so... Yeah, that, fuck that. You're right, them? you're right. Um, I'll let the, ar the damaged archer on the left, and then the two archers in front of me. Okay. Um, beyond the... in the fountain area. <sighs> do I want to just use my items? Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna use my items. Fuck this battle goal. Alright, so I'm gonna gain <laughs> advantage on this attack with my eagle eye goggles and so it's a three we'll do archer on the left first so that's four damage so that archer's dead and the two archers attack three on the left one is four damage attack three on the right one is six damage that one is dead nice that was good That bless came in handy, actually. One, that two, was three XP. Yeah, that was good. I haven't found either of my bless cards yet. And create fire. That is a loss. And uh, that's weird. You still haven't found your bless cards. You've got so one of mm -hmm. got... my invisibility here because that's potentially bad. That's, and you're gonna rest, you said, aren't you? I am resting, so I'm going to be invisible. So I'm going to take all these attacks. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pop my invisibility cloak. Might as well use all my items. Yeah, let me come after the skeletons. Or, or Heather. <laughs> Whichever ones. I'll come near, near the I hallway. can't take another one of those volleys. Yeah, that was bad. Uh, and the corpses get to go with a move. Uh, that's great. Move of zero. They're not going to do shit. And that was it, right? Stupid undead. Yeah, they're not really panning out very well now. I guess when we opened that room, we needed to be able to charge in there faster, and we couldn't quite do that. 
Because That's, yeah, we got Undead we got did up not up. survive against all the guards. No, yeah, they were they were a buffer. I'm not worried about the guards. I'm worried about these archers doing most of the damage too. Yeah, that elite archer in the back's gonna be real bad, and then obviously the two that we're not gonna be able to reach very easily. Yep. So if I'm invisible, I should just long rest here then. <laughs> Although, how many cards do I actually have in my... Wait, what? I have one card in my discard? Oh, fuck me. So I actually can't long resting, but I can't because I only have one card in there. But you can't do what? Uh, I was going to say I was going to long rest, but I only have one card in my discard. Oh! Instead, I have to do Reviving Ether to get all my cards back from loss. Right. Uh, one round was awful. Well, I can still go slow, because I'll be invisible for this entire round, so I'll go slow as I can. Take advantage of being invisible. That battle goal is no more. That is a hard one to do. That is. Alright, so you are long resting, so we can start. Archer is first. Uh, the archer would have to target basically the tinker of the bones down here. Mm hmm. Because we're all invisible in here. Nobody, nothing to see here, folks. Yep. They have a move oh, two <laughs> and a range of five. So that would force this one to go one, two. Um, one, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, and it is would the skeleton closer. Uh, the skeleton is closer proximity wise, so yeah, I would target the skeleton first. Uh, yeah, that's a uh, no, no, sorry. Uh, the normal only has a range of four. Guy? Normal has a range of four, so it can't. Oh. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Is this back here to go? An even better answer. Two. Yeah, I already did him. Oh, okay. Uh, so can move closer. Wait, yeah, and move two. Yeah, so they do. Yeah, they did. He did move closer. Okay. They all technically move closer. It doesn't matter with the fountain guys, I guess. Uh, right. And then it is a curio. What are the guards going to do? The guards are going to move one and attack for a bunch. So just come in the room, curio. Just don't get too close to the guard. Yep. Skeletons are going to do their normal move and attack. They're going to move at three. Okay. So they're going to finally they're gonna pour out of this room. Face. Yeah. Yeah. Gave him a good pep talk. <laughs> Come on, guys. We're moving too slow. We need you to pick it up in the second half. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, well, my summon can't move, so. <laughs> you guys and summoning summons back there. I swear to goodness. <laughs> well, I had to do something. I was bored. It's just a clogged drain back here, just yep. in general. Um... I wasn't going to summon mine, but I had to burn all those cards from damage. I'll have to do it in the future. Right. Alright, so I have a move three. Are we more afraid of the guards, or are we more afraid of the archers? I am always more afraid of the archers. Guards, we can get we can, away from the, we, we can get away we can from the guards. guards, yeah. We don't, have yeah. To, we don't have to kill the guards. We can just avoid them and go skirt along that right side, but while we do that, those stupid archers are going to be pelting us. In fact, if we kill the archers and just move forward, the guards may engage with the skeleton. Yep. And not even mess with that. That's totally the plan. We don't, we don't. I don't think we have the time to sit here and fight all these right. elite guards back here. All right. Well, I will attack both of these archers with an attack three, range three. They will be immobilized, and I get an XP for each enemy targeted. Nice. Oh. The net. The nets done more killing than netting in the past. We're going to be out of all of our cards by the time we fight this boss. Yeah, close all to right, it. So, I've only got uh, two cards in my discard. I mean, I lost them. I guess technically I've got two cards at the top. So do they have any kind of shield up or anything? No. Normal archers don't have any shield. So the first guy, number four, takes three damage. Wait. Which one? Number four. Four. Oh, four. Okay. So he's dead. Yeah. And then number six. We'll nice. Take six damage. Ooh. Once again, Boom. the net Both. just 
cleaves three people. Yeah, all those coins. And that's not even the right freaking thing, so now I gotta reshovel my deck. Damn it. <laughs> oh, you know what? I forgot to get that blessing on my deck, too. I need to. I haven't even found my blesses yet. Yep, I had one. Oh, and you have to reshuffle that. <laughs> you might never... Well, you reshuffle the end of the round. Yeah, well. And it does it for you, because I, I know It does that it for you, done. yeah. Yeah, it always does it for you. Yeah. Nice. Tinker just runs up and hurls a net at yeah. the fountain area, and they just all scream. Serrated nets cutting them. It's a very spiky net. It yeah. comes from all the little That's bolts right. and nails that she picks up along the way. And she just <laughs> right. them into the net. <laughs> all right, skeletons have a move three, attack one. As they Go march, skeleton. yeah, oh. one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, and it's going to attack the guard for one, <laughs> which does nothing. Right, and one, two, and to the other three. And your uh, summon moved two spaces up, by the way. Uh, she couldn't move at the time. Oh, that's right. Okay. Damn. Uh, corpse is going to move Still one. There. Corpse is going to move one, but is now blocked by the summon, so he's just going to stay back there, unfortunately. <laughs> also blocking each other. Uh, the guards, uh, unfortunately, have a big attack. Move one, with the elite attacking four. Damn. So this one is going to move here. Um, number three is going to move here. And then number four is going to attack the bones with an attack. What did I say? Four? Uh, yeah, so five minus the bones shield is four damage. And then elite guard. Interesting. We're all invisible. I was going to target the skeleton then and go here, but only as a move of one. And then the back one is going to move here. Yeah, we can kite these guards on the left side. Unfortunately, we have to deal with all this shit on the upper right corner now. So we all need yeah. to make a beeline in that direction. Exactly. All right. My plan... Well, shoot. I can either turn on frost armor or I can move. I cannot do both. I don't know. I mean, if, well, maybe frost armor. It depends on how fast you're going to turn. Because if we move away from these guys, we're not yeah. going to get hit by the guards. That's my plan is to eventually move out, yeah. So um, I'll be okay I here, because I was playing a skeleton, so I'm just going to turn on Frost Armor, and then I will use Reviving Aether to get all of my Lost Cards back. Which is five. And that one is lost. Alright, and then you Long Rest. Yeah, so our plan now, we just need to make a beeline to the upper right corner, deal with, unfortunately, these three guys. Yeah. And get in there and fight the fucking boss. Yep. Because it's getting painful out there. I do still have a stamina potion I can use, which will help. Now that I can use items and not get my battle goal. We're right. <laughs> Do I need to save losses for the boss? Is that a bad room? <sighs> yeah. Boss is surrounded by dudes. Crap. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna have some guys in there. Alright. I'm gonna save Impaling Eruption then. I don't think I can use any more losses until we get to the end anyway. Uh, unless I use my ally. I could use that. Hmm. Oh, my, my, my mice did move up one. The mice. Did they? I don't know what it looked like. Oh, yeah, they did because you went last. Uh, yeah. I went last. Yeah. Yep, yeah. they trudged forward. So I'd have to go one, two, three. Okay, I can do that. Hmm. Skeletons, we need you to run defense. Zone defense. <laughs> yep. As long as we all move at least space to the right, I think. Like, 
There's so many of these skeletons. Yeah. God, if this I still had left side of the board. Unfortunately, the my board. getting my lost cards back is also my jump card because I could have jumped into the fountain area uh, right. and then sat there and pelted them, but I don't. I can't jump now. Is anyone injured? Uh, I am slightly injured still. Otherwise, there's always a skeleton you could heal, but... At this point, the skeletons are starting to become less meaningful for us. Because they're all just going to swarm left, and we just need to swarm right. <laughs> but I would not turn down a heal. Alright, ready? Sure. Yeah. Ooh, the tinker going fast. Yeah, the archers have a minus range, but a big attack. Regular move. Yeah, you get some trios. Um, the guards have a ranged attack. That's a bummer. Great. But uh, okay. a movement of only one, so they're just going to slowly trudge up that hallway. And then our bonesy friends are doing their weakest attack and their biggest move. That's not what we wanted them to do. Kirio, you are first. Okay. That's concerning. That Which I'm means concerned. first your summon moves up. Yeah. Beep boop. Beep boop. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, crap. So I'm just going to use my bottom as a move to. That's the best that I can do. One, two. And then nobody's in range, so. Mm. That's all I can do. Damn. Uh, well, if you wanted to, you could do your top to attack the guard on the left and then move to, since. Yeah, I can do that. You yeah, might as well that. attack. Alright. Uh. Which top do I want to use? Is he fully healed, like, all his health? Uh, no, he's two out of six, but he has a shield of two. Oh. Uh. Yeah, we'll just do the attack three, range three. Did it shuffle my cards? It did, okay. Mm -hmm. I'll never find those blessed cards now. <laughs> did you already draw them? Yes. No, I haven't drawn them at all. Oh, okay. So that's four damage to the guard. Minus is two shield. It's two damage that kills the guard. Nice. Yeah, go me. Well, hell, if we can kill these things, then the skeletons might actually swarm in our favor. Yeah. It's a big maybe. All right, ready. Ready. All right. Boomba, um, move your rats. Our invisibility has ended. Yeah. All right, so we're going to move up one. Come rats. The rats. Um, on the scurry, the order you, have, you do have to do it. Yep, so you have to move first and then attack. All right, well, then I'm not going to attack. I, well, I wasn't. I was, guys didn't. One, two, three. Two, two. And then he'll stop and attack, and the other guy will get here and won't be able to attack anybody. Okay. Um, and then I will compel the back guard. Guard number three to attack his archer for two. Nice. For three. And he's got a shield, but he's also got poison, so I think that's still three damage. Uh, yes, you're correct. So that archer is done. Nice, that was good. Just lobbed his head off. Look at all those coins up there. <laughs> <laughs> all those dead corpses. That was great. Archer was definitely right. a dangerous one. Alright, the skeletons have a move of four and an attack of zero. They're all going to focus this guard. 
<laughs> Just swarm uh, the guard. Assuming it's still alive. So one, two, attack of zero. They would have to draw a... There's plus no three. way for them to do damage. Because he has a shield of three? two. The best... No plus three. Yeah. Nope, the best they can do is get a plus two, and that would do, not do enough to get the damage. Yeah. So I'm still going to have to draw the cards, go through the motion, but... Right. One, two, gonna... draw a card. Um, three, four, so one, two, draw a card. And then that one, one, Here? Right. two, can't get there, doesn't do anything. All right, it's going to take all of them just beating on this one guard. Yep. It, sh it will draw that left guard away at least, yes. we'll have to deal with the yes. right ones. All right, I've got to move three and then attack three at range three, but those stupid guards are going to move up and then have an range of two. I think they're going to move one and attack with a range of two. So it's going to go there and then go one, two. So if I end up on the other side of you... You're okay. But then I can't hit them. <laughs> oh. So, or the other, to, to that spot. the other option is to go here and take, just take it. Yeah, which I've got the frost armor on. And the other bad guy still can't hit you, though, I think. No, he can't. He's so I'm going to do that. Yeah. Hopefully this is worth it with an attack three at range three. Hey, ah, there's my other blessed card. Six damage minus his shield of two is four Good. damage. Nice. That's probably worth it. Yeah, I think that was worth it. And I also made a light. And those are discarded. Uh, archer. There's no archers left, right? Yep. Nope. That was the last one. Take them out. All right. Uh, guards. So, number one will move one space and target me. Uh, with a range two, with an attack of three. But I have frost armor on. Oh, thank god. Wow. So instead, I take no damage, and I gain an XP. And... Guard number three would move up and not do anything... Oops. Crowding up their guard. Which, if you have that move to move him back into the trap, that would be good. <laughs> I have to rest again. I just used it recently. Number six would move away to not have disadvantage. Which it can't. Uh, yeah, it can. It would focus number three. So it could move here and then shoot at number three. Uh, with a one. With the skeleton shield, does nothing. And this other guard would move one space and not be able to do anything there. And then our dear friend, Mr. Corpse, moves two this turn. One, two. Still a corpse on the board, guys. <laughs> Still doing stuff. End of the round. All right, we just need to push through these cards and then we make it to the last yep. fucking room with, like, nothing left. Yep. Ah. <sighs> Now I don't know if I should summon my ally or not, because it's going to get turned around and go the other way if we kill these guards and don't open that door. I would say wait till we uh, actually open that door. Okay. Like, put it behind you at, yeah. at the entrance of that room? Yeah. But we can handle these guards, I think, just fine, I think. I hope so, because I don't have any attacks. Uh, I have one attack, actually. I can do that. In fact, that's actually a pretty good attack. I can't actually get up there. You son of a bitch. Oh, whoops. I don't want to lose it, though, so I'm going to... That's as fast as I can go. Are you guys going to try to move up into melee range? Nope. I'm a mage. I don't, I don't do melee. I think I'm gonna need to burn a car to get up there and murder these, one of these guys. I don't know if we want to be burning cars if we don't have it. Well, we got. I mean, uh, yeah, I don't know how much is. Oh, you know Actually, that boss can have some freaking life. I did. I did uh, get my boots back. I can just use my boots. Some oh yeah. Boots. That's thinking with your feet. <laughs> oh, 
hope I can go faster than the guards. That would be good. I'm not going very fast, though. Yeah. If I push someone and he has an ally behind him, who the ally? Mm hmm. He does. Okay. Sure will. I may take a hit here, but it might be worth it. Right, monster modified deck's getting a workout. <laughs> yeah. All right. Hey, we did beat the guards. Nice. Jeez, thankfully. All right, right. I'm going to use the bottom Rats half. move up one. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I'll do it. <laughs> um, bottom half of Into the Night to move two and use my boots to move four. Get right up in this guard's face. And then I will do an attack two, push three. Attack two plus one is three, which does one damage. Yeah, one damage. And he is pushed back into the stun trap. How much push? Just stuns him. Three. One. He, he turns know. off both traps then. Does he set them both off? Uh, presumably. I mean, he doesn't start flying, yeah. I don't think. Oh, okay. Yeah, not unless he dies. Exactly. Ah. So those are gone, and he is stunned right there. Nice. All right. This guard's about to come hit me. <laughs> what is the guard gonna do? Eh, we both, we both, uh, yeah. Tinker and I both go before. Although I was nice. hoping to hit the other guy at range too, but that's fine. Ah. Uh, the skeletons are next, and they have a move of one with an attack of one, and then they heal themselves. Why did that guard move up? Uh, because he would have had disadvantage against his ranged attack. And they oh. always try to prioritize against... If they can move, then they will gain out of melee range if they have a ranged attack. So he yeah. pulled out his crossbow, st took a step back. Yep, okay. Alright, so number three would move up and attack the guard for... One. Plus one is two, does nothing with a shield. Number four, can't reach anybody... Oh, I'll do it for the next guy. Oh, okay, so, number five, so drew a zero, which also does nothing. Number five does heal two. And then number eight also can't get up there, because they all have a move of one right now. Yep. So they're just going to keep doing their thing. Yeah, they're just going to, um, yeah. Yep, here we go. That other guard's going to get blocked, too, so they're just yes. going like, to yep. all just sit back there. Well, now that it's blocked this badly... Uh -huh. uh, if he has a, he's actually going to start going the other way because now he can't. Literally, he tries to target the hex that he can move to to hit somebody. So if it's blocked this badly, he would now start going the other way. Oh really? Yep. Unless he draws okay. his ranged attack, which uh, that he didn't this round. So. Yeah. But if because what's, what's going to happen? Will he move back the other direction again. Uh yeah. It, if things change, because he so, will right now he's going to target he's going to focus skeleton number five. And his AI says, okay, in order to this reach Skeleton spot. 5 with a melee spot, that is the spot. How do I get to that spot in the least amount of movement? And he goes, well, I have to go all the way around. Yeah. His AI is just going to break itself for a couple rounds, looks like. Yeah. So, unfortunately, the guard moving screwed us over on that one. <laughs> Hopefully, we can get here before that guard goes, because they don't move very fast. Yeah. All right, Curio. <laughs> well, that's a, that's an obstacle. Yeah. Wait, what's oh, going on? It? Yeah, that's Whoops. a my bad. That's my bad. a wall. Damn it. This, is a, this is a very weirdly narrow hallway over. Yep. How were the guards able to go over the wall then? They didn't. Yeah, they did. Nope. They they <laughs> spawned there. A bunch of archers spawned there. Oh yeah, the archers with. spawned there. Yeah. Uh, they just they started the map good. inside that fountain area, which made them painful. Yeah, I know. This is a really awkward. Mm hmm. I, I can't do anything then. So we're all just choking each other now. Yep. 
That's it. I can't do anything. So I might as well long rest their next turn. Okay. okay. Um, I've got a move four and an attack of three at range two, and my other attack is range two. So unfortunately, the rat kind of screwed me also. Ah. Uh, because the only thing I can do is move in front of him, but then I would take the repercussion from the guard, which I don't want to do. So I might actually not do anything this round either. Oh, you guys, you're going to make me take out both these guards by myself. I, we can't... Yeah. yeah. I no, All my shit is range 3, but the only one I had available was the range 2 one, unfortunately. I don't think I can... Yeah. And my move four doesn't let me jump, so best the only other option is to jump in front of you and then attack that guy at disadvantage. And then yeah. take an attack back, and you've got more life than me at this point, so. Right. Yep, I'm also not doing anything this round. So the guards. I, mean, I think you had a good turn. That was nuking him one, so. Yeah, yeah, that, that worked. Uh, guard number one is stunned. Guard number three is going to move up and attack for three uh, against the Mind Thief. Four damage. Damn. And then number one is not stunned anymore, and number six will target skeleton number three for a three... two damage. And then our corpse friend is going to move one. I'm coming! <laughs> That's the end of that round, and... Oh, you know what? I should have jumped in front, because I had the freaking frost armor on. <laughs> you can jump? With frost armor? No, I mean, gotten in front of you. Oh! Then I, I could have tanked that with the oh, frost armor. Oh, right, you could have taken that, yeah, I yeah. totally yeah. forgot I had that. Uh, I have to either short rest or long rest here. The Tinker was already going to long rest, so. <laughs> I can heal myself a little bit, so as long as he doesn't attack me for. I'm okay. For one round. Yeah. If you need to move behind me, you can do that. Cause I guess I could do that. I am going to long rest this turn. We'll see what they're going to do. Were you long resting, hun? Did you already click the button? I have not hit the button yet. <laughs> yeah, good luck, Mind Thief, because you got that guy right in front of you. I know. He is poison, at least. Hang on a second, I'm coming. I needed a snack. Alright, now I have hit the button. Alright, you do go before the guard, and the guard is doing his big move, but his smaller attack. So he's going to do an attack of two. Base attack two on his turn. The back one obviously okay. will not be able to reach you. Well, I'm not going to move. I'm going to stay here. I'm going to heal two. Uh, what was that with? My empathetic assault. And then I'm going to range attack. I'm not even going to attack this. Oh, okay. Behind him. Um, with an attack of two and immobilize him. Damn it. Alright, well, he is immobilized. Okay. And there's some ice on the board, if you'd like some ice. Sure. The skeletons. Uh, they don't do anything but shield and heal. Which heal too is actually just, helpful. At this point, it's fine. At this point, like as long as it keeps. Yeah. I don't expect them to ever actually win. Right. Um, the guards are gonna do a move three. Damn it! It's my good card. 
and an uh, attack. So elite number one is immobilized, so can't move and obviously can't attack. Elite number three will target you with an attack of two. Uh huh. So three damage. Jeez. All right. Tanky rats. Uh, and number yep. six will attack skeleton number three for a base of two. Four, so that's three damage. They're just trading blows. Number five, unfortunately, try will now try to go around the fountain to reach that skeleton with a movement of three. One, two, three. That's starting to get dicey now. Uh, our corpse friend. Oh, did you move your uh, rat swarm? Nope. Corpse does not move at all. Um, the robots try. Oh, this is interesting. They would. Mm, they are. St no, I think both of your summons are stuck. Because right now there's no feasible way they could reach either enemy. So their AI just shuts the fuck down. What do you mean? My summon doesn't attack, though. It doesn't matter. They always focus and move as if they had a melee attack. So right now, neither of them can reach the enemy with a melee attack. Can, re can reach any enemy with a melee attack. Well, that's a pain in the ass. So none of the summons so, would actually move at all. So that stops them from even approaching, though? Correct. Because they don't gain any more ground. Well, okay. They do technically. They, they, they are gaining ground, right? <clears throat> Like I mean, yeah, we, we want closer. them to move, but I don't think... I, well, am I doing that right? I hope I am. But does that mean, like, if they had a range attack, they would move? I think they would move until they couldn't move anymore. Right, like, to me, it, it, it seems like that's... Yeah. Like, if they could, if they literally couldn't move, then okay, but... That's true, they, they can't get closer. Yeah, okay. Yeah, they'll, they'll move. Uh, they'll both target uh, guard number six on the left, because that's the closest one with their moves. But I think at that point, they once they get as close as they can, I guess then they shut down. Yeah, I guess they still... They still always uh, lessen the amount of hexes between. And so the corpse doesn't move. It's got a zero, and then we just long rest, and that's the end of that round. Lose another card. That's not great. So, is it gonna fuck you guys up if I push this guy in front of me back and then move forward? Nope, that's perfect. Yeah, keep, I, keep I, I, opening some ground for us. That would do great. Yeah, <laughs> I, I just need to get. I just need to get ahead. <laughs> I'm stuck here, so. Yeah. I'm just gonna have to get rid of flame strike again. Seems like the least useful. I just hope I can actually survive this because. To incur another attack. I am down to five cards. I do have a stamina potion, so I've got however many more turns that is. Right. But okay. I'm trying to. I've, I still have both of my big nitrous abilities again, but I'm trying to wait till we open that last room, and I've got my summon, but at some point I have to start actually using these things. Yeah, because I'll just I'll just lose them to the lost pile anyway. Um, I can heal you if that you're next if you're next to me. I can do it fast though. I can do it faster than you can go and then heal you. Okay, that's great. Now, then I probably won't have to back up. I can actually move him forward and then chase him forward. Yeah, and then I only have one more attack I can do. Okay. This is a really hard, long, crazy scenario. <laughs> yep. This is the opposite of the one we did the other day, which was really short yes, and easy. Yes, one room with a bunch of guys. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Chris, how go. fast are you going? Very. I think we're both going very fast. Okay. Lightning speed. So... Do 
I did not realize this was going to be such a devastatingly crazy <laughs> scenario when I started this. I know. This is nuts. All right, ready? Oh, damn. Well, I'm glad you're going first. Well, that means they're putting up their shield retaliate thing. Oh, are they really? That's yeah, nice. that's the only one they have that goes and lets them go fast. Does the retaliate happen after the attack? Is all finished? <sighs> I've... I know what you're asking, and I don't know. Google it for me while I do my turn. Um, All right. <laughs> if, if they can retaliate after a push. I, I, I feel yes. like I've looked that up before, and I don't remember what the ruling is, honestly. Okay. I don't think they can, because you're not damaging them to push them. No, I'm damaging them and then pushing. Right. So he does an attack, and then he pushes as part of the attack. I think it works out in your favor, but look it up and verify, I, I don't know the answer. Push, I push retaliate. am going to do the bottom half of Mana Bolt to heal you for three. Uh, heal the Mind Thief for three, and then I will attack the guard in front of me with an attack three, range three, a flashing burst. For four, plus he's poisoned, which is five, minus his two shield, which is three. Nice. And I made lights. I did heal you for three also. If the retaliating figure is pushed out of the range of the retaliate as part of the action, it also does not trigger. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay. You healed me for how much? Three. Ice. All right. <laughs> Back in business. Mm -hmm. And I also did three damage to that damn guard, so make things yeah. happen, boss. Yes. Oh, fuck. Uh, this guard's coming back up again? Well, guards are next. All they do is put another shield up and then turn their retaliate on. They don't do anything else. But unfortunately, now they have a shield of... Uh, the elites have a shield of three. Okay. God, all these elite that guards. Sucks. God damn. I know. They just... They're, they're eating up time is what they're doing. Yeah, which is a really shield dangerous thing. <laughs> um, all right. I'm going to... The guards have put their shield up. Retaliating. I'm going to first attack four, push three... Attack of five. Minus six is with the poison. Six with the poison. Minus, minus is three minus shield. Three He's dead. Is three. He's dead. Hey, look at that. Our one-two punch. Fucking murdered him. Yep. Can't retaliate if he's dead. Oh, whoops. That's supposed to have one coin. There we go. Now, what are the odds? Uh, no, I can't, actually. The odds are not good. I'm going to be able to kill this guy. Well, they've already gone. So, But yeah, they, he has a shield of three, so it's not great. Right. So I would have to roll with a plus... Are you considering going up there and opening the door? Because that's a different barrel of worms also. Oh, that's true. One, one, two, three. Yeah, I'd have to open the door. we got to open the door shortly here, though, right? We do. Right. I don't know if we want to do it this turn. <laughs> All right. Then I mean, we do I'll have to do it shortly. One, You're right. Two, three. I'll go like this. Oh, man. Kingdom for a loot action here. Yeah. All right. I've gotten into the fray. Indeed. Curio. Okay. Well, now that that path is open, technically. You are really quiet. Oh. Uh, put your mic. <laughs> sorry. I put my microphone behind my head so you there didn't you hear go. me chewing. It's there now. All right, yeah. All right, what do we got going here? 
yeah, all the summons. Which, yeah, now it works in your favor. All the summons start going to the right side because they can't reach the guy on the left. Mm-hmm. All right. So we're going to... What did I do here? I did a move four. In fact, that might be a rule where they don't even focus the guy they can't reach. I think they might just focus the nearest guy they can't reach. Mm-hmm. I have not had to go through so many goddamn focus rules as this <laughs> freaking scenario. Holy crap! This is a real yeah. test right here, and I'm sure I'm, fa I'm sure we need a lot of YouTube comments about it. like, hey, you did this part wrong. Like, yeah, I know. <laughs> it's a really right. tough game to play. I'm gonna just stop here so I can take this. <laughs> Your character just falls over. <laughs> Coins. Ah. He's he's like flush with money on one side of his body. He can't help it. <laughs> hey. I long rested at some point, so I got my goggles back. And then yeah. I am going to uh, uh, do an attack to range three, target two, but Chris killed the other target, so. Mm. You are welcome. Yes. He's got a so shield of three right now. Well, I'm, do I'm doing two, so if I can get a plus, a plus two. two. <laughs> you do one damage. Four times two. Yeah. Four times two. Either one of those will work. Minus one is not what I needed. Not so much. Alright, that's all I got. <laughs> Alright, our corpse... Oh wait, the corpse goes before? Huh. Uh, the corpse is going to move two. Wow, it's charging forward. Uh, Go, corpse! One, two, yeah, and that's all it does. The bones... Have Continue just a minus the two bones. and attack two. That's their best attack, I think. Move two, attack two, so three. Uh, attack two against the guard. Does nothing. And in fact, the guard has... You know what? I've been forgetting. No, the guard doesn't have retaliate. Sorry. Oh, it does now. It does now. Two retaliate. Does now. Yeah, yeah. So that bones takes two damage and dies. The retaliate goes through shields? It does. Oh. Only, shields only work against attacks. Okay. Uh, which that means number four can suddenly run up here and <laughs> attack the guard. Yep. They might all melt against the guard here. Uh, with the two, minus one is one, does nothing. Instead, he takes retaliate damage of two. Number five attacks with a two. Minus, god damn it, skeletons. <laughs> takes two damage. This guard is break like themselves. An yeah. And then the last one would start going on the right side then, I think, right? Yeah. If it can't focus. Two. It would focus the nearest one it can reach. So it can't actually, I think I've been doing that wrong. They actually wouldn't bunch up if they can't reach... Number six, they'd start going after one, I think. So I think we would go well, yeah, one, two. Maybe. So we'd actually go one, two, three. I think. This is getting really yeah. tricky now. Yes. Well, it would go around the oh. path that it could get to. If it can't get I mean, to that yeah, it's guy, true. Either way, he could also get right. Spot, so either right. way, it'd have to be the And then he would focus, obviously, the next one. Uh, he has a move of two this turn, so we can't actually make it that far. That is the end of the round. All right, now you're probably safe to kill that guard and open the room, I would hope. Find out. Indeed. <sighs> I wish I would have moved last turn. One, two, three, four. Or I could just move and heal. That might be the better thing to do. Or I'm going to go and drink my. Let's say I drank my stamina potion last turn and get these cards back. That gives me some more options. So I'll use it now. Oh, I did something I couldn't do last turn. But I can fix it. Uh, I used the top of two cards. Mm. But that's okay. I, 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 I can just move two instead. Well, no, actually, you know what? I only moved two. I think. Yeah, no, I didn't. I'm, I'm one ahead of where you were. Yeah. Right. So if you didn't so move two, you'd this... be there. Yeah, okay. Yep, yep. Gotta watch that guy. Alright, so I can do a move. Is there any... Oh, there's one element, okay. So let's do move. One, two... So I need to get the hell up there, because shit's happening. Yeah. It's happening, people! <laughs> But I'm gonna do it so slowly. Alright, so do we gotta open the door now? I think we have to open the door. We can't wait much longer. 
Kill the guard and get the Best case scenario, out. we just ignore this guard five up here. Hopefully he just doesn't get, reach us. We Yeah, we kill one on our way to opening the door. We get in there. We got to fucking kill this captain. And honestly, we may just have to fully commit to killing the captain because yeah. I just don't know how many turns we have left, and all we have to do is kill the captain. Is the treasure something we have to do, or is that just... It's just an optional thing. If we can, if somebody can grab it, they get whatever's in that treasure. Okay. The rat eyes it greedily. That's right. Because <laughs> I think I only have a handful of turns left. I got a few. I don't. I don't have actually have that many cards in my discard. For One, two. A three, and then I've got this my red swan, which is on the rest and have four. Yeah, I think only a handful. All right, ready? Yep. All righty, rat is oh. first. I put those cards in the wrong order. I'm not supposed to be a forty-six. Uh oh. That's all right. It wouldn't have made much difference. Oh well. All right, I'm gonna move to heal two. And open the door. And, and then open the door. Dun, dun, dun. Hello, A dashing captain. Health captain. Oh my god. We're not gonna survive this, you guys. 27 life, and he's got a bunch of dudes in there. God damn it. With the guards' bodies in your wake, stirring and rising as dead, you. As as the undead, you knock through the floor. Today we stand against the darkness. The captain of the guard bellows at you, surrounded by soldiers. To me, I will not let the city fall to the scum. Have we been... Supposed to be... Have these guards supposed to be rising in as undead? Because it's not been happening. I... Oh, is that what's happening? That's what it says in the description, but that's not... The guards' bodies in your wake stirring and rising as the undead. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, that's just part of the flavor text, but... Yeah, it's just flavor text, yep. Because it clearly isn't happening on the battlefield. Yep, that would be useful. That would be useful. Yeah, that would be a nice special rule. It's not on Alright, then I am attacking for four on this guard. Thankfully, this might be the best case scenario. The guard got his regular just move... Or the boss got his regular move and attack. So ah, that's yeah. going to help get him out of the room. Because yes. the guards aren't moving at all. The boss actually can come in front of the guards. That's great. Oh, okay. Also, I just did... How much oh, damage sorry. did you do? What did you do? Five damage. That With a shield of one, and he's dead. Yep, that'll kill that guy. Nice. Clink. Okay, that's my turn. All right, the bones all put up their shields and heal two. Keep that fight hard busy bones. never ends. <laughs> yep. Uh, the guards all put up an additional shield, and then they attack and poison anyone they attack. There's only one person that's in melee range of any of the guards, and that's guard number six is going to attack skeleton number four with an attack of three and a poison. It misses! <laughs> Does poison the skeleton? It become it's like video game background action, like yes. it's a work game. <laughs> Except I have to fucking run it, which is just <laughs> the worst combination. Like it does not automate in the back. Uh, did you already move your rats up? No, I didn't. Okay. So the boss is next, and thankfully, oh by the way, oh no, the boss's things only go off if it does a one or two. Okay, so he's just gonna move two and attack for three. So he's going to go one, two. So he came out in front. This is our best chance to swarm him. Yeah, uh, I guess so. Curio, you are next. Well, this will be fun. We have to pump everything into that boss at this point. All right. Move. Eh. One. One, two. Oh, I need to be in the rat here. spot, damn it. Thank you. Oh, do you? That's I, all right. Well, so I could. So after I, uh, uh, you, you did your move two heal two. I think you. I went one two, but can you open a door in the middle of a move? Yes, you can finish yes. your move. So but I could have gone. Mm, 
No, you don't do it because I'm not gonna. Okay. I'm not gonna do my nitro here anyway. I can't heal hard. Okay. I can't hit hardly anybody. Uh, right, I did. So. Well, I'm feeling eruptions of four. One, two, then, three, four. The one, boss two, moved three, four. up so nicely. Attack two, range three, and poison. Mmm. Poisoning good. the boss is real nice. Yep. Yeah, thank you for that, boss man. So, two damage, unless he has a shield. He does not. He is immune to wound, disarm, muddle, and stun, but not immune to poison. Yep, so now he's poisoned. And he took two damage. Jesus, so much life. Holy crap. Yeah. Hey, I'm in my house, you. Alright, that's all I got. Okay. Um... I was gonna move four, and I've only got a range three. So one, two, three, four, and I guess I'll just turn around and attack the guard, uh, which I will consume the light to make that an experience. Attack three. Uh, four damage. Minus his nice. shield of two, because he's got the shield card, so that's only two damage. Oh, Should I go ahead and use my net to immobilize him? Yes. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So, add my net on there to immobilize this asshole. Now would be the time to pull out your ally if you got him. Wait, I need around. to do it next. Well, I, I can't move and summon at the same time, but this next turn oh. I will definitely do it, yes. Okay. For sure. I'm hoping the boss goes more towards us, but we'll see. Then you just immobilize him? Discard it. Um, and then the corpse is going to move one. You said he's immune to wound, right? Chunk. Uh, Yes. The boss is immune to ever is immune to wound, disarm, muddle, and stun. Of course. <laughs> I know. So we we can immobilize him and we can poison him. That's it. Do I need to run in there at that boss, or should I try to get him wait for him to come here? <sighs> I don't know how often he's actually going to move because he has a good chance of drawing his special one and special two, and if he draws either of those, he doesn't attack. In fact, he can fucking heal himself with a if he draws a special one. And if he well, does that, then those guards are going to move in front of him. That doesn't matter. He has poison on him, so even if he gets that... Oh, yeah, the heal would himself. just give him the poison. That's yeah. true. Yeah. But, yeah, but if he just stays still, though, the guards will move in front of him, and then... The we're guards have a good chance of moving man. in front of him, yes. Actually, that would kind of work for me if they did. Uh. I have a good little... Well, all right, you know what? F it. It was nice knowing y'all. <laughs> You're gonna run in there? Oh my god. I am. The bad thing is, if I summon my al mystic ally, it's gonna turn around and attack the guard in the back, That's I think. True. But, That's I mean, it true. might kill it, and then I think it's still worth summoning. Alright, we're gonna see what's gonna happen. Unfortunately, I don't think anybody's gonna get in range of me. I'm gonna go super slow and hope I get people in range. To do, uh, I guess, my ultimate. One, two, three. I need the boss to move like one more space up. I don't. I lost all my movement stuff. Yeah, we just have no cards left. It's really dangerous right now. I only have like a handful of cards left. Yeah, I'm in the same way. A lot of this is gonna come down to what the boss is gonna do on his turn. I hope I can go before all of them. So you guys are charging in, right? You're not gonna actually. Yep. Okay. Because I can't move if I summon my summon. The other option is I move in and light him up with the fireball. Why aren't you doing that? that well, I can do that. That might be the better move. That might be the better move, I think. And then uh, some yeah, of the ally the after ally. that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll do that combo then. I'll save the ally. If anything, in the next couple turns, this decoy is going to move up. <laughs> Stupid decoy. <sighs> Two, three, four. Yeah, and I'll turn on my fireballs. I have no more items, do I? Uh, how fast are you guys going, though? Pretty fast. Not super fast. Alright. 
All right, I'm gonna launch in with a fireball. Let's let's do this thing. Oh, boss. Special two. All allies add plus one attack to all attacks this round. Oh no. And then he attacks at a plus one. And then the guards are gonna move up and attack. Oh, this is bad, actually. Well, the guards don't move until 50. Well, so. but if Heather not charge in there, they're going to they're gonna hit us. It's not good. Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> maybe maybe yeah, we shouldn't charge in there then. Well, but then the guards are still going to move ahead of them then. Yeah, the guards are going to start blocking the boss. It's going to get harder to get Shit. to him. Yep, it's this is gonna, a barrel of pickles. Run in. I mean, I'm going to go in with my fireball, and I can do advantage, and hopefully... Do you guys have any AoEs? I don't. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. That's why I have to go in there. Okay, if you can do that, then maybe between me and Heather, uh, between me and Curio, we can kill the guards through collateral damage. <laughs> that would be great. Because we do go before the guards do. Unfortunately, what Curio is going to run into is you're going to move in first, and then the boss is going to attack you. Yeah, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. Mm -hmm. He's going to have an attack of four. Well, I'm going to turn my um, my armor on. For the boss. Oh, okay. Which grants him disadvantage. Ah, uh, he uh, yeah, had the leather armor. Okay. Yeah. All right, here we go. I moved your... my summon. Move the summon. All right, it's trudging along, trying to get. That's actually made a long <laughs> way. It has. Yeah. It's made a long journey. <laughs> All right, here we go. So move two. What do you have? Come on. Oh, the flamethrower. <laughs> And then I'm going to flamethrower the boss and the one guard who's up diagonally from the boss. So it goes two and... <laughs> so oh, guard wait. number three. Oh, it doesn't quite line up, does it? No. Nope. I needed to get over here. I thought I could get one more, but I couldn't. Ah. So you can attack the boss and then guard which one? Yeah. Uh, guard three. Okay. So you're attacking, like, these three spaces? Yep. If I if I had been able oh, to get here, yeah, yeah, it yeah. would have been yeah. everything. Right. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Because you're yeah you're but hitting the boss there. guard three and then empty space on top. Yep. Yep. All right. And the boss has plus one damage because he is poisoned. That's right. Oh, this wounds everybody too. Wow, the boss is immune to wound. Yeah, yeah. but it'll wound everybody else. It will wound that guard. Yeah, that's nice. All right. So attack three. I get two XP for this. Curio just gets out this giant flame tank and just winks at us <laughs> and walks into the room. Hang on, baby. Alright, so boss first. Now, if ever was a time for me to find that freaking... Your bless? Bless cards. Yep. Yeah. Uh, uh, fart noise. Yeah. That's the bosses. So it's one. He's Two. No shield. That's two damage on the boss. Two damage on the boss. Yep. Because of the poison. Yep. He's not. At least that did something. He's immune to wound. Yep. And then the other guard is four damage four. to him, and he's wounded. So he's got a shield of one. So three damage, and now he's wounded. Okay. But wounded just take, take plus damage one damage each turn. They take one damage to start it. Yep, each of their turn. Yep. Yep. And then when the boss goes to swing at me, I'm turning that armor on. <laughs> nice. Yeah, because he goes immediately next. Um, so he now turns everybody's attacks to a plus one. So you all just have to remember, remind me of that. Okay. Everybody's got plus one attack. And then he is going to do an attack of four. If I'm reading this right on his card, it says all allies add plus one attack to all attacks this round and an attack plus one. So presumably that means yeah. he does his own attack. All right, so it's attack four, but he has disadvantage. Yes. How about a two damage? I'll I'll take that. Yeah. All right, I am next. Get in here and throw a fireball. That's exactly <laughs> what I'm gonna do. I've got to move four, and I've got my fire orbs. Um. I guess I'm just going to go one, two, three, four, and unleash the fire orbs at everybody in the middle here. That's uh, right. attack three, range three, target three, and I'm going to use my goggles.
to have advantage on all three of these attacks. I cannot miss. <laughs> so we'll do uh, the guard first with an attack three with advantage. That is three minus his shield of one is two damage. That guard dies. Dunzo. All right. Hey, attack, yeah, you did. Attack three on the boss with advantage. Okay, it's a good way to avoid the, the miss, yeah. I guess. Yeah, it is. So three That's... plus the poison is four damage. Yeah. And then attack three with advantage on the guard is a times, Eight, two, times two, so that's six. I six. wanted that on the fucking boss. Well, yeah. Uh, minus a shield of one, but that is still five damage, and that kills that guard. Sure does. Look at All that. All right. Between the two of us, we oh, killed the guard through collateral damage exactly as I anticipated. Yeah. Um, I gained three Perfect. experience because I targeted three. I used that card twice for maximum effect. Yeah. And then I created fire. That is a loss. That is a discard. And that is the end of my turn. Uh, somehow, Ratfink, you go last of all three of us. Yeah. We all just got really antsy about getting here. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm going to burn the bottom of Fearsome Blade. Move four, attack two. Oh, boy. Attack four. Now was the time. Two, we all three. used Lost Cards this turn. <laughs> yeah. So that's an attack of four. What happened? Yeah. Six Ooh, plus one is seven. Poison is seven damage. Wow. So he's down to 12? 12. 12, yep. Yeah. Look at that. Oops. And then I'm going to do... That gives me two... Then I'm going to do the Submissive Affliction on his mind. An attack of four and plus one for each negative effect, which is one. So it's a base attack of five. Do you still have Mind's Weakness on? That, yeah, that's with Mind's Weakness, yes. So plus Poison? Yep. Oh, so it's four, it's two, plus Mind's Weakness is four, plus huh? one Poison is five, plus Poison is six. Okay, six. That what makes Give me that crit, baby. Ah. Uh, seven. Seven is good. <laughs> He's down to five hit points. Look at that. How much? He had 19. No, he had more than yeah. he had 20 something to start with. Yeah. Yeah, 27. Wow. Got him down to 25. We yeah. just fucking pulled the nitrous on this one. Yes, we did. Which is good because I don't have much longer. All right. And I now it's everybody else's turn. Yeah, now everybody else's turn. That's right. Now everybody goes. Uh, the corpse not Eight. doing jack shit, but he loses one health. The guards, we killed all those guards. This one is immobilized, so the only one that matters is the one down here with a fight that, frankly, if I was playing D&D, I wouldn't be tracking anymore. Exactly. Uh, we would be, we, 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 if, if we were playing D&D, none of us would have line of sight of that fight anymore. No, exactly. <laughs> <Yeah. Not matter. laughs> Attack three, so that's four with the poison, but minus one, so that's three damage. So that's it for the guards, the bones, which I also wouldn't be tracking anymore. A uh, move of two and an attack of two. Do the guards not move at all? Oh, that's an archer. Never mind. Yep. Shit. Yeah. Uh, so they're both going to attack two, the guard down here. So that's three. That's one damage. Finally getting to that guard. That's no damage. And this one goes one, two. Now it's that one archer. Oh, he got his best one, too. Uh, range plus one and attack plus one. He's got a base attack of four. And I believe the tinker is closer proximity. One, two. Oh, well, yeah, I'm three away anyway. One, two, three. Or no, the, the mind thief, sorry. No, no, yeah, I'm, I'm closer. Yeah. All right, uh, so he's going to target Ratfink with a base attack of four plus one from the boss. Oh, no. So it's a base That's attack five. Just don't draw a plus two, and I'll be in. Uh, well, I don't care. You want to do the honors? Uh, yeah, sure. I'll do it. Six damage. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> How you doing there, boss? Uh, uh, I was that, dead, but I feel like we're about to win. That arrow hit you real hard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's the end of the round. I have to short rest. With my three cards in my discard pile. So you've literally got one one round left, because then you... Well, no, you've got two. I have one card in my hand. 
Yeah. Oh, okay. But uh, this scenario ends when the boss dies. We get to finish the round. Yeah. I'm going to grab that chest, and then I'm going to shoot him. So okay. hopefully we'll, we'll be done. I'm going to have to summon my actual ally then. I never did Impaling Eruption. Couldn't get that one to work. Oh, yeah. So now I've got three cards in my hand. Okay. I do still have the my frost armor as one more tick left, so I could actually tank something too. If I needed to. Is there any element? There is. So let's do that. Let's just go fast. I hate you rats. You, <laughs> <laughs> you summoned those rats so early. <laughs> oh man. They did fine. You they, both they, summoned they way too early. Hit. I summoned. Yeah. You guys summoned too early. I summoned too late. Although we also yeah. blasted this room more than I thought we would. Yeah. I'm not even gonna bother summoning. I don't think. I don't, yeah. He'll be dead this turn. He'll hopefully. be dead this turn. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. All right. Unless he heals himself, which he's going to, but he doesn't get to go very fast to do that. Well, he also will only heal the poison. That's yeah. a good point. Yeah, having that poison on early was amazing. It was. It's it's added like five or six damage. I think so. Every single time we've hit him, yeah. Um. All right. So mana bolt. I'm gonna consume the fire to get an XP and do an attack of three against the boss, which is four with the poison. Minus one, so that's a three damage against the boss. And then I've got a move four. I'm just going to take one of these coins. Here we go. And that's it. We left a lot of coins on the battlefield. That's upsetting me. We did, but I feel like we had to. We had we to. Rope right now. Yeah, we didn't have much turns left. I feel like that was the thing. Mm -hmm. All right, rep. All right, I'm gonna use uh, the bottom of into the night to just move, move on to that treasure chest. What is the treasure chest? Getting? I think what you have to uh, right click and go um, to the state. Because I think it's a hidden card. Right. You got chainmail. Chainmail. Okay. Item twenty-three. So I'll have to pull that out of wherever that is. Uh, and then I'm going to burn the top of empathetic assault to do a range five attack. F that also gives me XP. Generates an ice. Will not disarm him, but should kill him as long as I don't miss. Five damage to the captain. He is dead. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. I don't know if you're going to want that chainmail because if you equip it, you have to shuffle in a bunch of negative ones into your modifier deck. Ha! Yeah. But you couldn't. Sell it. We I think we have a rule where me and Heather can kind of give each other items if we like, but we'll like uh, table talk like the money for them sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and rules as written, you're not supposed to be able to trade items, but we are very lean about that because that's stupid. <laughs> like you should be able to trade items. All right, boss is dead, so this is the final round. I believe we get to finish it out. All right. Is it my turn? Boss also dropped a coin, presumably? Uh, yes, Boss did drop a coin, presumably. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes. Turn. Okay. So, since Chris took the chest, I'm going to do my move four, and I'm going to go in the opposite direction. So, one, two, three, there four. You go. <laughs> At least get some of those coins. <laughs> yeah. Now you needed that freaking loot, too. <laughs> I know. Although, I guess you can't move and do yours at the same time. And then, um, I'll leave those there for half a second. Don't take my coins. <laughs> and for shits and giggles, I'll just attack the guard that can't move for attack two, range three, target two. Make an example of him. Your captain's um, dead. Three damage to this normal. 
<laughs> Normal Guardy. Now we're just now our alignment's really shifting towards evil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, now we're butchering them as they're surrendering, basically. <laughs> yeah. So three damage to the normal guardy. I'm pretty sure that probably killed him. Uh, he's got a shield of one. Does that include that? No, it doesn't. So two damage. Then. Two damage. Okay. Hey, I got ten coins. Wow! Nice. Wow! That's a lot. That's a lot of coins. Uh, all right. With the end of our turns, I don't think we have to bother finishing out the oh, round, right. frankly, because I don't think even if they kill us, it doesn't matter. We still won. Yeah. As much as I'd the like only to see. one that matters to us is the guard in the arm. Yeah. Okay. So. Cool. Read our conclusion. I got my battle goal. Uh, I nice. definitely did not. <laughs> I'm glad. I don't think I could have done that without using. Uh, that yeah, that would have been real rough. I used all my items. I used those eagle eye goggles twice. Like I had to use my items. My battle goal right. was to not get to less than half my hit points. Oh, oh wow! Wow. Okay. I only took one hit that entire Yeah, game. you actually wow. didn't get hit very much. All right. Uh, the last of the guard falls, and once more you see a transformation of the bodies. Toll is walking. <laughs> Sorry. Jesus. This is just really, like, really dark. It got real dark. <laughs> it got real fucking dark. Jixera steps through the doorway behind you. You've done well, mercenaries. <laughs> Damn it. Proved, proved yourself in the face of these relentless pigs. If my bodyguard's dead, you will be my new right hand. Oh, no. And we will, and we will rule over this city <laughs> as it was meant to be ruled over. Yay. The last remnants of the old empire has finally fallen. And you should be proud. <sighs> but there's still much work to be done. We are literally the Black Order. We are, we yes. are the children of Thanos. <laughs> children of Thanos have come through. We are the Gloom <laughs> Order. But there is still much work to be done. The Merchant Guild grows concerned about the declining quality of water. We fear there may be some dark force at work below the sewers, poisoning the city. I've also heard some talk behind closed doors of a dragon making roost in the Copperneck Mountains. Ooh. Some merch the merchants can be such children. But hunt. still, the reports are worth investigating. Whatever it is could be a threat to the city. Well, you know what? On one hand, we raised a necromantic army. <laughs> and she's got a plan. Joe, she's got plans. City. Yep. Yep. So a lot of I'm, bad politicians uh, have plans. <laughs> <laughs> well, improve the water, remove the dragon threat. Those are those are policies they can get behind. Sure. Yeah. We still have the city of uh, the dead, or how does <laughs> <laughs> city of the dead, but great water quality. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's what matters in the we, end. We unlock two new locations. Uh, the abandoned sewers to clean up the water supply and the mountain pass to destroy the marauding dragon. I'll nice. turn one. Okay. 16 and 18? 16 and 18 yep. and we completed 11. Okay. We achieved the global achievement city rule economic and end of the invasion. So we, topper, we toppled the military, put like yeah. the merchant guild in charge. Who apparently are also necromancers. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it was a means to an end. Yep. We got 15 gold each. Minus right. two reputation. Being evil pays. Oh. <laughs> yep. Minus two reputation. Plus two prosperity. Ooh. Plus two prosperity? That's we right. We did make the city better somehow. <laughs> like, murdering <laughs> the guards. Yeah. I've never seen plus two prosperity. Which gold and we got the... did we get? Say again? Which global achievements did we get? Uh, city rule economic and end of the invasion. So if you just click this one? button, it adds them up there. Ah, uh, okay. And then you should be able to click. Uh... So yeah, 15 gold, minus your reputation, plus your prosperity. We also got the design for the Skullbane, Skullbane axe. I don't know what designs do. So the design means you... It's open to buy. You, it's open to buy. You don't gain the item, but you gain the ability to buy that item. Oh, cool. I'm not sure how to actually do that in Tabletop Simulator. What number is it? 113. Is that a random item design, then? Skullman Axe. It won't let me Why? mark that we've done number 11, so... I got one coin for that whole thing. Wow, that's not good. 
Oh, the Skullbane Axe? Yeah, do you remember where it is? Is that one of the prosperity uh, levels, or is it a random item? I think it's a random item. I think you're Does right. Does it say item 113? Yeah, I, I don't... It's not... I don't think that was the numbers here. Let's see. Skull... Skullbane Axe. There it is. So, what I could do is just throw it into one of the prosperity ones. It's probably the easiest thing to do. Prosperity one? Yeah, just... Or yeah, or I even throw it in there. The, yeah. It is worth 50 gold, and it is during your melee attack, targeting a living corpse, living spirit, or living bones, add plus 5 attack to a single attack, and it is a once per long rest. Very good against a lot of uh, early scenarios undead. where you're fighting undead. Alright, how much is our extra XP worth? Oh, I'm going to throw that in Prosperity 1. Um, oh yeah, so your rewards, I believe we're still on 1 for scenario level 1. So, uh, the coins are all with two each, and we get a bonus experience of six. Cool. 20 XP. And we got 15 gold apiece. Damn it all, I'm one XP away from leveling up. Really? I'm at 94. How much? Oh, you got a ton of, oh, I got, I got a bunch too, 12. So 12 plus six is 18. What's eight? Actually, no, I did do it, because I got two XP at the very last. What's 18 hey, plus I, 82, 100? I just leveled up. <laughs> wow. Eight, nine, yeah, I think it's a hundred. So I leveled up also. That was a lot of experience. Which it should be, that was a fucking huge one. Yep, I think we all leveled up after that one. Nice. Two, two of us to, to three, and one of us to two. I did not get my battle goal, but I did. That does count as a boss scenario, so I'm three out of four on boss scenarios. Oh, wow. There are a lot of bosses in the early game. Yeah. And then we got 15 gold each. Uh, what's 28 plus 15? 43. Oops. Those are some numbers. <laughs> and yeah, we lost our reputation is now negative one. <laughs> We're villains. Okay. That's fine. Kind of villains. Kind of villainy. We 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 accepted ah, it. There's my freaking bless cards halfway through my deck. End of the invasion. Oh wow! You never drew the bless cards. Nope. That's crazy. I think me and Chris both drew both of ours. That was an epic goddamn scenario. That really was. We we're overthrowing a city, man. We were overthrowing a city. Wow. Uh, Chris, did you get your battle goal done? I did. My battle goal was... I, I did it early on. Use equipped items four times. I forgot my coins. Two, four, six, eight. I got eight more coins. Oh, yeah. So I'm at 51. I'm so bad at my battle goals. I still only have the one thing on the... <laughs> like, I've done such a bad job. Well, one of them was your fault. One of them was like, like the, I remember the like the couple of the early ones was just that we lost or uh, there were some bad ones. One. Oh, that's just right. We lost one. A, a very first thing we lost one to an event. Yes, that was awful. All right, remember to pull your minis off of the board, back onto your player mats. God, how long was that scenario? Uh, 213 minutes is the current session. Jesus. That is... Wait, really? That's what I say. I've been in this session for 213 minutes. Damn. Now, you can include some of that time as, like, setting up and reconnecting, but holy hell, that was long. Yeah. Probably over three hours. Good Jesus. lord. That's, yeah, that's huge. That's crazy. How long it takes to overthrow a city? I guess so. That that might be the longest scenario I've ever done, because obviously in no two-player one is nearly taking that long. Well, plus I mean, it was like a bitch said, to run all those friggin' enemies. And I th I think a good chunk of the extra time, because yeah. you gotta like like here's what all the skeletons are doing. Here's what all the guards are doing. Yes, two that, yeah, that was a bunch of it. And hun, don't forget to take these two cards in the battle mat. I'm not gonna hand. Cool. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and stop this recording then, because I think that ends this part of the session. But yeah, we leveled up. 
Uh, I'm had to level up again. And then uh, the Quattro got one more personal quest check done with the Gloomhaven, yeah. and then I got one more done with the boss one. So that's a lot of and excellent progress. Two perks at the end of this game. And two perks. <laughs> oh, yeah, because you leveled up and get the battle goal done. Nice. Yep. Indeed. All right, so we'll level up, and I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording. But thank you for joining us. We'll be doing these uh, Gloomhaven ones sporadically if people enjoy them. Um, probably, hopefully, won't be nearly this long. And maybe we can wrangle Raymond into playing with us and have a full four-player match, yeah. which would be nuts. Probably that one would take multiple sessions, but uh, yep. All right, everyone. Bye.